23 round playoffs. Paul Grant, Greg Gouillard, Dan Castle on Candleton Bowling Network. Number five seed, Outlaw Rides. Number two seed, Maria Subs, a lemon drop to start. Come on. Eric McGuigan. Good second ball, Wood between the six and nine. Fuller, three, two, split, spare. What a shot to start the fit match. All right. McWigan, 10. Three string format. Total pinfall is all that matters. No points. If there's a tie, a full one string roll off. Quarter final start tomorrow morning, 9 a.m. local time Atlantic, 8 a.m. Eastern on Candlepin Bowling Network. Semis and finals to follow. First two buys, one buy in each division, has a two round buy into the semis. And that would be Fenway Academy from Group A and Group B. Or the left side, the right side goes to A-plus accounting. On the spare, four for Fuller, 14 through one. Same lead, McGuigan. Beautiful shot, got it! What a shot for a spare. 20 of ball through two, Fuller in the hole. Nice shot, nine. 23 through two, Outlaw Rides on a mark, down three. Welcome Mr. Greg Gouya, the soothing sounds of Greg Gouya. Thanks so much, we'll see if I stay calm and soothing after this. This is gonna be a thrilling playoff match. Three strings total, pinfall. The top five seats made it through and uh, top seat out of each division has a first round bye. Ryan Shannon for Outlaw Rides, drills the pocket off the wall, it's parallel time. Four, seven, left, five, eight, to the right. John Zappi, the captain, four. This is a tough matchup here, Greg. Former world champions head-to-head -head in the first round. Shannon, good bid, leads up to four, seven. John Zappi trying to work it out. Inside, he's up to one only. Shannon, nine, Ryan, his first box of the match. John Zappi, nine to match. 32-29, Maria subbed up three in the first of three strings to right to the quarterfinals. On Kenilton Bowling Network, you can subscribe free on YouTube, never a charge, always free. Kenilton Bowling Network on YouTube. Follow and like us on Facebook as well. Beautiful ball, seven. Seven left, six, ten right for Ryan Shannon. For Outlaw Rides. John Zappi goes left. He has the four horsemen plus the eight. Tough leave here. I spin it over. What a bid. Six right, seven left. Zappi, one in the eight. A big crowd on the air. It's gonna get louder and louder as the night goes on, and tomorrow it'll be crazy in here. Be jammed wall to wall. Shannon just missed right, trying to edge it to the right to go into the seven for an eight, 17 through two. John Zappi gets them both for a 10. Nice shot, 19 through two. Third ball is coming up right now. As it's 42-37, five pin lead for Rias, minus the ball, Mala rides. Davy Summerton, world champion himself. Sean Baker, future Hall of Famer. As is Davy Summerton. One, two, four, generous lead. Baker off to the right, just three. Nice shot, spare. Summerton, 10 of the ball to stop the first of three. Baker, good second ball. Can't get to the five and 10. Please share this match to your friends and family. We're on Canapin Bowling Network on YouTube and Facebook. Hit the red bell, get notified when we go live. Definitely miss the ball. 
Baker, nine. Welcome back, Mr. Greg Gouillard. The soothing sounds of Greg Gouillard. Thank you very much. Two marks to one in the early going. Uh, so two from left division plays five from right division. Third seat from the left division plays fourth from the right division, and so forth with two through five. First round seat, remember, gets a two round bye. Three matches tomorrow, live on Canopy Bowling Network. In the pocket for strike nine. Kingpin left up, 19 through one for Davey Summerton. He's done this quite a few times. Baker. And the crossover, eight, three left, six right, spare chance. The pesky two pin is Greg Gouya likes to say, 51% pro success rate without wood. All stats by Kenneth from Bowling Network. Sean Baker was a notable pickup by Maria Stubbs. You recall he was with Lucky Strike. Summerton doinks it, missed it, wanted to go at that pin. As recently as last year in the finals. He's not happy about that shot. Baker for spare, up the wall, it goes! Slow motion spare, take it while you can. 19 of all through two. Take it, joining Maria Subs this year for the first time. Summerton hooks left for a nine, 28 through two on Candleton Bowling Network. What a war this is gonna be, Greg. I can't wait. It's single elimination, win or you're done. Beautiful lane, 24 lane facility, fair lanes, Moncton, New Brunswick, Canada. Bowling is a grind, and they love to grind one more day. Here's Calvin Locke. Won three world titles. Mr. 206, Canada. I presume. Yeah, all in Canada. Hit a 206 in the second string of the qualifying rounds. The second shift on Monday. Singles knockout. Catch the last four boxes on Canada Bowling Network on YouTube. Absolute clinic with the wood. Almost. Whoa. If you want to go a little more inside, I believe. Like, what's wrong with that shot? Holbrook, three in the first ball, five in the second. Three right, eight left. Now the eight goes, just the three. I don't, I'm not going to harp on it, so I'm just going to say it one time. It is amazing. Craig Holbrook is still competing at the top level. An incredible beacon of longevity. Camlock, solid pinner, as usual, 10. Holbrook joins it for nine. Early lead for Outlaw Ride, 75-70 in the first of three. Back to Greg. I, I have nothing to remark at this time. Okay, sorry, I thought you said something. It's loud in here. We're way back here. In a festive crowd watching. Second box, first thing, lock. Beautiful ball, eight, six right, nine left, wood in between. On that crossover, Holbrook, the left-hander, Hall of Famer. He crosses over, he gets seven. Seven, eight, ten. He's dealing with four pieces of wood. Rock for spare. Oh, he got it! <laughs> Spinning and twirling. Got the object. Or two. Got the object pin, hey. We take those. Holbrook trying to kick it over. Oh. Object pin, that should have taken those. Ball boss behind the 10. Outlaw rides, really lead here in the first. Holbrook at nine, two nines to start, the first of three. 85, 79, two marks to one and a six pin lead for Outlaw rides on the right. And the anchor ball is coming up right now. John Winchell, Hall of Fame eligible, 50 years old, young. Andy Bever has been terrific all week. Lane 13 will re-rack, the pins didn't come set. Matt Harnett here in attendance watching from A plus. Have to get the two round bye into the semifinals, which means more money for the bowlers. Andy Bavino drills it right with a half whisk of 3-9. John Winchell high single of 190, average of 123 with the 190 last month at extra lanes. He just plugs sports bar extra extra. Three times at 190 for his high single. Has a high five of 744. Winchell trying to kick it over. Good shot, almost. They have no head pin hit, look at this, six to start his match. Winchell's second ball creating significance, even if not a spare. 
Greaves have struggled today earlier. Only got two points today. But yeah, they're getting second place. Because once you get to 10, back to Greg. Someone's saying no sound, but there's definitely sound, is there not? I'm checking my levels here, but. My levels are low, my headset. That might be, I need to analyze that. Okay. Okay. Strike bid, nine. Kingpin left up for Babineau. Nice bounce back in that six box. Same spot for a spare. John Winchell goes left, takes down seven. One, three goals. It's the one and seven. Just checking the socials to make sure everything's hunky-dory. I think we are. Babineau right on it, spare. That was 16 the ball through two. That was pretty hunky-dory. Winchell picks it up. 10 box for Winchell, 20 through two. Statistics in the early going, let's see. It is four marks to two for Outlaw Ride. So those two extra marks you'll see on your screen are the advantage right now. Careful of the bottle, it crinkled a bit on uh, camera, but uh, on audio rather. But um, see those yellow blips between total and game? That'll tell you how many open marks there are on each side. Three to one, Outlaw. Iron Fuller Jr. at a 400 yesterday. Touches the three pin, just missed a strike. Eric McGuigan on the spare, 7, 27 through 2. 1, 3, 6, spare chance. Ryan, 23 is first two, spare 4 and a 9. And he missed it. McGuigan trying to push the 6 down, that won't go. And Brian with the Paul Grant special, missed the second, make the third for a 10. 33 through three, three's a wild. McWiggin, 10, 37 through three, nine pin lead for Outlaw Rides, two marks to one in their favor. First of three swings, the beautiful fair lanes in Moncton, New Brunswick, Canada, 2023 men's ITC World. Gorgeous. Championship, gorgeous facility. All 36 lanes worth. Opening round playoffs, 12 global lanes, global lanes. Look at this, spread eagle in a five, McWiggin. Bola, good bid. Five middle, six ten right. Both these teams are stacked. Eric, too far left. You don't see this parallel pins in the middle like this too often. Bola, seven. 40 through four with a mark at the minimum. McWiggin takes an eight, 45 through four on Candlepin Bowling Network. 10 pin lead for Outlaw Rides, 126, 116, up two to one of the marks. Outlaw will want to take advantage early. That's clearly Fuller Jr. at reduced power. John Zappi, 19 through two. Ryan Shannon, 17 through two. I predict they need to make him pay now or they'll be sorry later. Zappi on the crossover, seven. Middle pin is the two, right is the five, in between is Wood, seven left corner. Ooh, that's what Shannon drills eight. Yeah, that's how you do it. Wood is not completely convincing, but I, I think it should cover everything nicely. For a spare, oh, how did that go? Wood got in the way apparently. The king remains. Nice shot, spare for Shannon. Goner, three for three on the head pin. Great start for Ryan. 27 the ball through three in the first of three. Zappi at 10, 29 through three. Outlaw rides up three marks to one and a 10 pin lead. Total pinfall, all it means to get to the quarterfinals tomorrow morning, nine o'clock, local time, Atlantic, Atlantic time, eight o'clock, East Coast time. All I'll three matches on Canada Bowling Network. After this box, I'll rattle off lane assignments for the, the playoffs. We don't have exact seats at the moment just yeah. yet. We're waiting on that information. Yeah. We'll check out the scores in between also. John Zappi on the head pin. Two, four, five triangle, 10 right corner. Shannon on the head pin. And with the five to go, it does. A great opportunity with the four, seven. 
We can make a living off consistent eight drop spares. Winchell had a spare in two. I've marked that wrong. Thank you, folks. We're at the disadvantage. Being way, way back in a handwritten scoreboard, which is hard to see. Oh, no. Oh, he got him with oh, the ball. How about yes. that? <laughs> got a rebate, you could say. Wow. Better than Reed. <laughs> I, think he, I think he planned it that way, don't you think, Greg? That's why they're the champs that we're not. 45 in the ball through four. What a break. Zappy nine, 38 through four without a mark, good pinning. Nines and tens generally lead to sprays and strikes. It's a 19 pin lead, the biggest lead for either side right now, early, early in the first. Outlaw rides from Candela. Sean Baker on a spare, 19 in the ball. One of two spares for his team. Three marks for Outlaw rides. Davy Summerton's 28 through two, a nine fill on a spare and a nine box. Baker's bonus ball is a quarter. Yikes, one. 20 through two. Summerton, four has been right. The one, three, six, ten. Baker trying to work out of it. Goes right. And look at this lead. One, four, eight. Right side, six, ten. Don't see that too often either. There's a spare. Davy Summerton back out of the again. Second mark. 38 in the ball through three. Baker, object pin gets two for a seven, 27 through three. Reasonable outcome on that third ball. Sean needs to find that ball first. This holiday season, all season long, please consider Candleton gift cards. Support your local bowling centers. A great way to get friends involved. It's a great stocking stuffer, but a gift for any occasion all year round. Candleton gift cards, the gift that keeps on giving. Baker, 3-2 split, the clip wing eagle. Summit's in the pocket off the wall, takes down eight and a half. Wobbling four, eight to the right and back. We can make a living off eight drops. Baker, good bid. Will he go? It does! What a shot for a spare! Wow, how about that one, folks? 37 of the ball through four. Tremendous. Summerton can't connect on the 4-8. That's two he's missed. They normally mix that single pin and went. Now this one gets yeah. one for a nine. It's a great start, and he could have had four spares. 55 through four. Good point, Greg. It's three marks to two for all our rides. Their biggest mm. lead, 28. Oh, yeah, lane assignments. Five and six. Team Academy, not to be confused with Fenway Academy. They're on a bye, I believe, yes. versus Bowling Ball Mafia. Team Abel plays New England flooring. Here we see Maria Subs and Outlaw Rides. And 17 and 18, Kingswood taking Kingswood Bulletproof taking on Unbelievable from Muscat Abbott Harbor. Unbelievable had a strong finish today. Greg Holbrook's Red Eagle. Calvin Locke on a spare, 5, 25 through 2 in the first of three. From Moncton, New Brunswick, Canada, Fairlings. Greg, nice ball. He's up to 3 and 10. Lock missed right, 1, 4, 7. Colas from Tim Matera Hall of Famer and Brian Athen with the podcast every other Monday on your favorite channel on the web, on the web as he gets a 7, Craig a 10. So Craig 28 through 3, Calvin Lock 32 through 3. That gains half a mark for Craig. Well, this would be a good money match, wouldn't it? Or, <laughs> or two giants. If human stamina weren't a thing, I could watch this match a while. Craig 62 years young. In the pocket, a diamond plus the 10. Block, pounds the strike zone, he gets them all, 10 strike. Second mark, 42 plus two through four. Alternatively, it could just go to CBN YouTube and just loop it forever. Holberg trying to bounce it over, oh, just went to the pit. Including looping that shot over and over to figure out how that wood didn't make it across. Ran out of real estate. Nine pence stands. 10, 38 through four. Checking my levels. Okay, good. One string does not matter. It's three string is all that matters. Total pinfall, no points. Total pinfall to go to the quarterfinals tomorrow morning. We'll be covering one match at a time. Nine o'clock local time, Atlantic time. We're an hour ahead here versus East Coast, an hour behind. So eight o'clock East Coast time. Set your alarms, folks. It's gonna be a good one. Semifinals afternoon time, after three o'clock sometime, local time. 
will have the finals and the presentation of the championship trophy. Will it be a Canadian team? Will it be a U.S. team? Stay tuned. Got a good mix of each. Each on a spare. John 22-2. Andy 16. John still is five. Ten strike. Babino crushes the pins. On a spare. 26 through two, 36 plus two through three after a six block start. Funny game. John 25 through two. Outlaw rise, double digit lead. Winchell dismissed left. One, three, nine. It's too bad one of these two yeah. has to lose so early. Fenway Academy and A plus accounting with the buys left and right. They go to the semifinals, a two round buy. John, nice out, 10. John will pin you to death, 35 to three in the first of three, down three marks to one, You're down 35 already. But no lead is safe with these teens. Maria is 24 and 0 the first day, but struggle today. In the early two matches. Winchell back in the pocket, a 4 1 split. Double strike kid, let go, bang, wow, double strike. The crowd goes wild here in Munton. Andy Babin on fire. 56 plus bonus balls. Devastated the pins. Canadian crowd erupts. Winchell, what a try, just missed the eight. Wood rolling over. Runs out of steam. Bob Wickham not here due to a foot injury. Wish Bob Wickham, we wish you a speedy recovery. The Hall of Famer inducted last month. Last act, great guy. John Winchell, nine, 44 through four, fours and wild. And we go back to the top of the order. Paul Grant, Dan Castle, Greg Gouillard on Candle Pin Bowling Network. The World Tournament, the ICC Men's Championship matches. Opening round playoffs on Candle Pin Bowling Network on Facebook and YouTube. Again, hit subscribe, hit the red button. Follow us everywhere you go. Candle Pin Bowling Network and YouTube. Follow us on Facebook as well. Eric McGuigan, 45 through four. Brian Fuller, 40 through four. Each with one mark so far. Eric, four. Brian, seven. One, make it eight. One in the 10. Make it one. Just the 10 pin, got a break. 46 pin lead for Outlaw Rides on a roll. Eric missed inside, number one. Unofficially, but all confirmed. Three marks to one for Outlaw Rides, too. Pouring on early. Fuller. Gets the wood to go for yes. a spare. It's fair and a spare. McWiggin, 10. 55 half. Brian Fuller, 15 of all through five in the first of three. 55 half, okay. Get your friends out to Kenneth and Bowl. Nothing like it, folks. Well, I got partially saved by you people out there, but the scores are confirmed. In the pocket, nine. Same spot for a spare. The king is the five from McWiggan. I always appreciate the kindness of the Candlepin community. Fuller in the pocket, thin hit, seven. Two eight half Worcester, seven left. On the spare, 57 half. Cuts the lead down to 39 for Outlaw Rides. I am breathing into the mic, I'm so excited. Mm. Missed that shot. He missed a couple of singles. Almost much one earlier. He gets this spare though. Back to back, 67 the ball through six. That's a Paul Grant special. Missed the second, make the third. Eric McWiggan, 65 through six. That's three marks to two for LR Rides. They're in the lead right now by 39. Although, of course, four marks to two because of that double strike. That's right. Which, uh, once I get this out of the way, we can see uh, that's why that last block is green between total and game on the mark tracker. Indicate two marks up. Ryan Chin in the bonus on a spare. Five, four, one split. 50 to four. That was up a little longer than I wanted it to be. Sorry. John Zappi can't find the pocket. Four horsemen plus the eight. Right, 
Opening round playoffs on Camelton Bowling Network. World Tournament. Missed right. Over curled. Three right, seven left. Curling is big in Canada. It should be big down here. By college football. Reminder, United States won one time. Big Good. 10 for Zappi. Nice back to behind for a 10. For a 10. For Ryan Shane, he's sitting at 60 halfway through the first string. Zappi a nine, 47. Good on you. Full house, three nines, two tens. Good on you, John Schuster. You finally did it. Old news, but still. Marks are 10 to six, realistically 11 to six for outlaw rides. That's why the advantage is piling. Three in that shot, not happy with that one. Not in a spare though. Only the first time Ryan's gone wayward from the head pin. Drops nine. Zappi a wiggle on the seven. Team can use a mark. Spear bid almost leads up to seven. Close one. Zappi, got it. 57 the ball through six, needed that one. With the wood, a nine. Ryan Shannon, 69 through six. Open around playoffs. Not a lot of cheering for Zappi on that spare word. The United States are the visitors. They gave him the silent treatment. There's a lot of Americans here too, but mostly Canadian fans watching. First time hosting the world since 2019. But they won it last. Competitive on the lanes, an amazing community off the lanes, as it should be. Davy Summerton, 55 through four. Goes right, gets four. Six time world champion winner. Sean Baker on a spare, 37 of the ball through four. A Team's down 44. A great spare. Strike on spare. Deserve. 47 through four, 57 half plus two. Summerton inside number one, one, four, nine. And Maria Subs trying to get a mini run going here. Up three marks to two. Three to three with a double strike if you include that. Good big, got two of the three for a nine. Davy 64 through five. Follow the Friday Night Pro League game of the week every Friday night during the regular bowling season, 35 weeks plus the playoffs. Not tonight, obviously, because the Royals next Friday night. Rich Lamoni Central 2 against Dave Barber, Jeff Surrettes. Extra lanes, 7.30 start time live on Kenneth and Bowling Network on YouTube and Facebook. Spread Eagle for Summerton. Baker would love a double here. Six in the first ball, one, two, seven, ten. Team's down 33 right now. Good bid. Takes out three the unconventional way. Took Six, ten right, seven left. Took the front parallel pins. Good shot, Davey. Baker. Good bid. Oh, he got it! What a shot for a spare! Wow! 67 half, 77 of the ball through six. Take another 20 out of the ABM. Summerton, nine. Ball's coming back, but in the, cha in the uh, channel, that'll be a nine. 73 through six, good start for him. And here comes Maria Subs on the move. Three marks to two, but the double is one of those two marks for all our rides. And the lead's down to 22 all of a sudden. And don't forget, it's a three-string total in overtime, one string if we tie after three. The power of 20 that, boxes. And wouldn't that be something, Greg? It's one string if they... One string. Fun. Yes. I think, anyway. They might. Their it. mileage might vary, though. How about double overtime, triple overtime? That would be something, huh? Imagine a 10-string overtime. <laughs> Calvin Locke on a strike. Four from right, the one, three, six, ten. Holbrook off to the right, six, one, two, four, eight, behind the two. 38 is first four coming in. Want to make sure you're running this diagonal, whatever you do. Lock for a strike, two full, right in the middle. That's harsh though, he hit the object pin. 
49 through four. Ask me the question right now. Yeah, two marks for Calvin now. Uh, Calvin Locke has two marks. It's yeah. fair and a strike. You can ask me most questions on here. <laughs> for all with our fine folks as our witness. Albrecht missed right. Tricky four pinner anyway. Calvin takes two for nine, 58 half. Holbrook, two for an eight, 46 half, without a mark. Outlaw Rise has led all the way through, pretty much, up 30 right now. The marks are three to one. The one mark for Outlaw is a double strike next. Randy Babineau. Couldn't have asked for a better first round match, could you? I'd, I'd cover anyone, that, I'll tell you that much. All these bowls capable of winning it all. All these teams crossing over, another strike. Oh, imagine if those were consecutive. Second last three, 68 plus two through six for Calvin Locke. Holbrook, two, four, seven, six to the right. Calvin had an electric double in the singles finals this past Monday. Holbrook chucks up the Archer pin, the two, four, seven left, six right. Open is for, well, open in Canada means on a mark, filling a mark in the States. Open means no spare, no strike. As he gets a nine, 55 through six in the first of three strings on Candlepin Bowling Network. Don't forget again, tomorrow morning, set your arms early. East Coast time, eight o'clock, local time, 9 a.m. Atlantic time. Quarterfinals followed by the semis and the finals, all live on Candlepin Bowling Network. Andy Babineau going for the turkey, the triple strike. Derek Fairlands in Moncton, New Brunswick, Canada. Hooked it. Steals nine. Ooh. That would have been a Julian, which would be famous in the early 80s by Dave Julian for the head pins last to fall. That would have been a turkey. Monster break. 29, the first double strike. Strike bid there. He's got it. John Winchell. Second mark, 54 out plus two. Babino for a spare on double strike. Missed it. Nine, the second double strike box. 74 through four. The power of the double strike. And that is a Paul Grant special. Is there ever a good time for that? Uh, I'll, uh, let me know later. <laughs> Missed the second, make the third, but nothing wrong with the 84 hey. half. Any luck, he'd have five marks. The mark filled itself though, solid half. But, yep. but look at these marks stacking up, four to one for Maria Subs. That 49 pin lead is deceiving for Outlaw, but it is a conclusive lead. Babino hit pin again, six right, seven left, can't believe it. It's not the end all be all. It's a great competitor. Darn good bowler. Winchell, first ball on the strike, five. Mm, he wanted to respond to that bad. Ball slipped out a bit too soon. Pretty the capacity here at Fairlanes in Moncton. Trying to kick it over. He got it! The ball hits the seven. 94 to ball through six. Oh, and he's cooking now. 34 over par, possibly into the 140s by this time he's through. Winchell charts up the two. Second ball on the strike, a six fill, 60 mm. half. 1479. Well, Calvin Lockett, that situation where he could have run a diagonal, but he chopped, albeit on the object pick. John Winchell, object pin again, one for seven, 67 through six, back to the top of the order. Paul Grant, Dan Castle, Greg Gouya, live from Moncton, New Brunswick, Canada, there's Fair Lanes, the men's 2023 ICC championships, opening round playoffs on Kennelpin Bowling Network. The update from Griff's, Mr. Greg Gouya, the soothing sounds of Greg Gouya. Okay, okay. You only get to mention that twice a broadcast, right? <laughs> Three twice, twice a strength now. <laughs> <laughs> Three marks to two for Maria Stubbs. Here's a mark, it's Brian Fuller Jr.'s. Hey, it's going to give you some love here, Greg. I appreciate it. Top of the order, Brian Fuller Jr. is on a spare. He's got a wiggling diamond, minus one, minus two. Eight's the fill, two and the four. McWiggin, oh, what a try. Just missed a seven. Coming in at 65 through six. Fuller for a spare. Got it. 82 and a ball through seven. 
Uh, 75 on a ball, Fuller will get nine and 81 through seven. All right, get that backwards. That's right, I got it backwards, my mistake. Look at the wrong scoreboard. All right, so that happens to be frequently. Yeah, it is. Well, I'm used to looking at the regular score, but I'm looking at, I have to look at the monitor because I can't see the score, but way back here. Yeah, we don't get a box off, but don't pity us. We're loving the view from up here in the DJ booth. Can't see the regular score, but a nine to wiggle. Denied the Julian stri strike. And a half Worcester fill in the spare for McWiggin. Seven to Wild, 77 to seven. Here in the first of three. Bola stole it with a spare. Did he ever hit the head pin? Now he's on a spare. 91 of the ball through eight. The Augusta Main Special, 1-7-10. Yeah. McWiggin. Baller said four. Four marks. Eric missed everything for a rare seven. Hmm. 84 through eight. 388, 347, 41 pin lead for outlaw rides. The mark situation, three to two, favor Maria Subs. And again, it's a three string total format, no points involved. Winner moves on to the quarterfinals, which starts tomorrow morning. Again, 9 o'clock e Atlantic time, 8 o'clock East Coast time on Candle Pin Bowling Network. John Zappi on the right, the captain, Maria Sub, veteran bowler, Hall of Fame eligible, another year, 57 on the ball. Not a bad break. One of the eight on the spare, 65 through six. Cuts lead to 33. Ryan Shannon, 69 through six coming in. One, three, nine, 10 on lane 13. On no, lane 14, John Zappi, Z-A-P-P-I. No relation to Frank Zappa. I don't think Zappi is Zappa, it's Zappi, Z-A-P-P-I. Missed that spare chance. And one ten left up for Ryan Shannon. Runs the Friday Night Pro League also. Mike Pachichi helps out also as well. As he gets a 10, uh, eight for Ryan Shannon. Nine versus eight, it looks like. I see a stick up still. I couldn't see, maybe I couldn't see it from my view here. I'm way back. The weird, the weird thing is I also saw a uh, 10 for a second there, but no, no, that's a nine box and a 74 through seven for John Zappi. Okay, thanks, playing Greg. Playing uh, Ryan Shannon 77. Two marks apiece, 32 pin lead for Outlaw Rides on the left. String leads, of course, don't count for anything, but of course are significant for momentum. Outlaw has it all. John Zappi, 6 9 10 triangle, taken down. Shannon drills the pocket. Wood slices between the five, right, eight, left. Like the game of operation, didn't touch the sides. The buzzer didn't go up. And then passed, passed another piece of wood like two ships in the night, 5-8. Outstanding opening round playoff on Canada from Bowling Network. Maria Subs, Outlaw Rides. Savvy miss right, leaving up the one, two, four as the eight falls down. And that shot was missed for a spare that's for Ryan like, Shannon. That psychological effect, you're trying to avoid that right piece of wood which could have deflected the ball away. Too much of a good thing though. Zappi, Oreo Cookie got the cream in the middle, left the waitress on the outside for an eight. 82 through eight, nine for Ryan Shannon, 86 through eight. 33 pin lead for LR Rides. Mark's situation is 13 to 11. Greg, I know it's past the halfway point, but can you explain the substitution policy for the viewers at home, please? Substitution, you must put in substitutes before the halfway point of a string and not on a mark. <laughs> Two great giants side by side. Sean Baker, 77 of all on lane 14 here in Moncton at Fairlanes. In the pocket, a triangle. Seven is the fill. 84 through six, two, four, five left up. Davis Summerton, 73 through six, has a chance. The wood behind the one three, trying to go to the eight. Front of the spare, yes! Punch his fist. On a roll, 94 and a ball through seven. A spare to match for Davy Summerton. 83 and a ball through seven. That's the thing when you have a former world's anchor for a lucky strike on your team. What a huge pickup that is for Maria Subs. Paying dividends already. 
both a lucky strike for years. Lucky strike, un un unusual, not to be in the playoffs this year. That is quite a sight. Baker on the head pin again, a two on split. The six is on the right, two, four left. 101 through seven. Summerton half was to three in the nine. Possibly the break Maria is needed. Baker, good bid up the wall, can't reach the six as the pin slams, the, the wood slams the break on. Summerton, good bid, six right, four, seven left. <laughs> Baker, right on, who needs the wood? 10, 111 through eight. Another fine string. Summerton, nine, Davey at 94 through eight. In the third spot. Calvin Locke on the left. Greg Holbert on the right. 20 pin lead for Outlaw Rides. Calvin's on a strike. Two marks to one for Outlaw Rides in their favor. Holbert missed right. One, nine, 10. Locke in a second strike of the string. Two, four left, six, 10 right. Holbrook inside, number one, ends up the one of the 10. Lock trying to kick it over, he got it! How about that, folks? Wow, what a shot for Spare! The 2-4 in the 6-10, outstanding! On a strike. 78 through six, 88 the ball through seven. Holbrook at nine, seven straight blocks without a mark. Nice of them to provide a little buffer into lanes 11 and 12 so Calvin Locke can celebrate into it. Three-time world champion, Calvin Locke. Cal Craig Holbrook looking for his first mark, 64 through seven. Calvin, another mark, 88 in the ball. Craig missed right again, one, two, 10. Not easy, but makeable. Locke spares in the pocket, strike bid, nine. Nine pin left up, 97 through seven. Oh, you got people's hearts racing when you said the S word. Not that one, people, come on. Holbrook, no. Really? Not into that wood, huh? Lock for another one. He's got it. 107 in the ball through eight in the first of three. Every time Maria Subs closes the gap, Outlaw Rides has an answer. Oh, there's your pace of play. Just get a bunch of marks and we can fly through this, baby. Holbrook 10, 74 through eight on Candlepin Bowling Network. 40 pin lead for Outlaw Rides. They have the mark advantage, two to one. And we'll get lunch later on tonight, Greg, when this is over. <laughs> No I, no, I had a ham and cheese sandwich. I'm uh, good. I've, I've had no time getting all the scores and checking the standings and the outcomes. No, the great people here at Fairlands have kept me fed. Not even hungry. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're ordering, mind you. I'm, <laughs> I hasten to clarify. <laughs> and I, every loony a worthwhile spend. <laughs> John Winchell, 67 through 6. Five, Whittling, eight left. Andy Bever, a great start. Nine drop again. A wiggle on the two. You were hit. On the spare, 103 through six. Winchell with the wood. Got it. 77 to ball through seven. Spare for Babineau, another one. Babineau was ready to fire the whole time, even while Winchell was delivering. 113 to ball through seven. He should be seven for seven on marks, too, you could say. Putting on an absolute clinic. Here at Fairlanes in Moncton, New Brunswick, Canada. Babineau has a de facto six marks if you double count the double strike. Both on spares, John Winchell first. Out of extra lane, two to sports by Bexley, New Hampshire. Three, 80 through seven. Babineau, half Worcester, ouch, two. Disgusted with that shot. 115 through seven, still a great string. Status quo then in that case. 48 pin lead for Outlaw Rides in the first of three. Winchell missed right. He's up to one in the nine. And just a couple more there. Six standing with the ball to go for Babineau. What a funny game.
Winchell, nine. Babineau will take a seven out of that, Jim. John, 98 through eight. Andy Babineau, 122 through eight. Back to the top of the order, the final two boxes in the first of three. The World Tournament, ICC Men's Championships, team competition, opening round playoffs. Nine o'clock local time, Atlantic time, eight o'clock tomorrow morning, East Coast time, quarterfinals, followed by the semis and the finals, all live, always free on Candle from Bowling Network. Top of the order, nine, make it eight. Couldn't see it from here, eight drop, four in the seven. Eric McGuigan, Brian Fuller Jr. is on a spare. One spare for each side. He's in the pocket, he gets seven. Four, seven, 10 right. 98 through eight. McGuigan missed inside the four. Got the seven. 40, make it 39 the lead now for all our rides. Plus the ball. Fuller, what a try. Right Th over the 10. Thought maybe that piece of wood in back would help rail it in. McGuigan gets the 10 box, 94 through nine. And Brian Fuller Jr., 10, 108 through 90. He has the high single at the old Lafayette Lanes, not Riverwalk Lanes, Ainsbury Mass. How about a 224 for Brian Fuller Jr.? Five time money match winning extra lanes with John Winchell winning $2,500 to split five times in a row. In the pocket, a check mark plus the 10. Fuller on the nose, triangle, six, nine, 10 right, two, four, seven left. They have final box of the first. At the top of the order. McWiggin, object pin, what a shot. Take it to the 10. Fuller, object pin, rolls to the right, Ooh. spins around. Big swerve, no luck. And Eric Grid pitting again, another 10, 104, first string. And Fuller matches the 10, 118, first string. McGuigan, Eight to go. They both only lost five pins in that uh, string, although McGuigan, McGuigan, of course, had two marks, but one, two, three, four, five, six, 10 boxes in that. Outlaw rides up one mark to none, up 39 in the string. Three string total pin balls, all that matters. All scores are confirmed and are otherwise unofficial. That's Kingswood Bulletproof making a lot of noise. On the head pin, 3-2 split. The New Brunswick team bringing friends and family to amplify the acoustics. Ryan Shannon on the right, John Sappy on the left. Sappy in the pocket, pin hit, ends up with seven. Seven, nine, ten. Three pieces on the deck to deal with. Piece of wood somehow. I thought he called the three on the right. I think they was trying to do that. What's there? Nice uh, try. What's coming over right in front of the 10. No marks either side. That's pinned out. 10 box for Ryan Shannon. He's got 96. Greg, take over just for a second here, please. Okay, uh, I'll take your level down. John Zappi will take aim. This is the third ball. Goes between the pieces of wood. That's a nine box. Current statistics in the match right now. 17, really 18 marks. Four outlaw rides. 213 for Maria Subs. Pinning is within one. So it's really bonuses and fills. The bonuses and marks, rather to avoid redundancy, making the difference. Bob Lee, my voice is not gone, so the bet's still on. Hooray! 5-10 to Shannon. In case anyone dishes 194. <laughs> Hi, Timmy. Tim Douglas, 190, the tornado last year, 194. In the finals, 3-9-7 left for Zappi. Their final box of the first of three. Go to the 10. Huh. Got it. 
maybe both pieces of wood could have propellered in. Bowlers see it and more better than we do in more ways than one. Except he finds the hole. At least has the piece of wood to drive back for nine. Again, it pushes through for a 10, 106 opening string. And Zappi will get a Paul Grant special, miss the second, make the third for a 10, 101 opening string. Got a bounce, did he? 40 pin lead for Outlaw Rides in the first of three strings on Candleton Bowling Network, plus one spare. Davy Summerton on the right, 94 through eight. Sean Baker left, 111 through eight. Bowlers with five marks, Sean Baker, Calvin Locke, Andy Babineau. Sean Baker on TV multiple, multiple times. Too many accomplishments to list. <laughs> Summerton hooks left, just two. Baker just missed the crossover shot. Four horsemen plus the eight. Winding down here in the first. Summerton gets second ball. Still wobbling. Three in the six. Shaking like a leaf. I wonder if this horizontal wood can be leveraged to play for the horsemen. Let's see. It right. Yeah, it did. It didn't allow the ball to travel. I agreed with Sean's idea. Baker, 10 box, 121 through nine. That's Davy Summerton, 104. Right, Summerton, rather. I'll get it right. You I did, did. Sean I, Baker, I, 10 box, yeah, 121. I, I, I predict the future. My, my mouth's in the future. My brain's in the past. Bob Lee told us <laughs> to stop doing psychic predictions. We can't spoil it. <laughs> I know uh, we're. I know we're on this. Hey, you look down at this. See, I'm trying. I'm trying to look at the monitor. Which I'm not used to doing. I used to look at the scoreboard, so sometimes I get I lose my spot. There's information everywhere you look. <laughs> and noise everywhere you listen. Summerton goes left, the Western right, the one three six ten. Sean Baker, lane thirteen here at Fairlanes in Moncton, New Brunswick, Canada. Opening round playoffs. Crossing over eight wood slides in front of the five left, nine right. Executive producer of Canada from Bowling Network is Mr. Bob Lee. Thanks for your remote support, Bob. Wish you were here. We know Good you are too. Spare. Summerton, 114 on the 10th. Baker to answer. He does. 131 the ball on the 10th. Dan Castle will do play by play in string two. I'll be back with the third string. The scores in your screen are unofficial. We'll verify it after the spring is over. Summer takes, takes down seven. He's missed the head pin again. And the 121 first string. Baker in the pocket, seven. He'll end up with a 138 opening playoff string. Joining Maria Subs, 138. It's a 40 pin lead for Outlaw Rides plus a ball. And that's coming up from Mr. Calvin Locke. 206 on Monday. Also has a 204 as a high triple of 514. On the extra ball, spread eagle throwing the nine. Oof. Three. Yep, there we go. 10, make it 110. 110 through eight. Holbrook looking for a mark. Not one yet. A 3 2 split. Nonetheless, five marks is a great string for Locke. Nice bit, but Locke's spinning around. Oh, what a try. Gee whiz. That was less than 1% chance to get that one. Holbrook on the object, won't carry. 4 7 10. Locke at 10. 120 through 9. The first thing belongs to Outlaw Rides, which is only total, total pinfalls, all that matters at the end of the three strings. Holbrook at 9. No mark still, pinning well, 83 through nine. Holbrook just never got any love on the head pin. Could have used some more head pins, but still. Deserved a bit of a better fate than that. Calvin, beautiful ball, head pin, check mark. Five is on the right, in the middle, I should say. Two, four, seven left. 
Holbrook on the hitpin again. This time six, make it seven, make it eight. Three in the ten, what to work with. Lock for a spare, won't go. Chopped off. Trying to get to 130. Oh, mercy. Unless this wood rolls into the 10, it's still going. It's tapping it and dropping it. And that goes. That's a goner. Give him a break finally. Calvin Lock in eight, 128 first string. And Holbrook gets a gift finally, the 10th, 93 in a ball. Not a soul said a word, but that is definitely a smudge on a board. Perhaps a little subdued given the outlaw lopsidedly taking over the string. Seven yeah. fill even 100 at the minimum from Craig Holbrook. That's a good penny will get you. One mark, you get to triple digits immediately. Take that smudge away, that's that. Final two boxes. Andy Babbitt a 122. And he's lucky to be a 150. John Mitchell, 89. On the nose, seven, eight. We're going the eight left, 10 right. 35 pin for the for Al 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 Rai, number 35. One, three, five, eight for Winchell. They're talking about this one. A piece of wood only covers the A, that's not the play. But that vertical piece of wood on the right side seems to obscure the ball, any ball deflection into the 10. Or does it? The effort. Thought maybe it got a pop over to the right side. I gave it less credit than I should have. In the 130s in the ninth box, first swing. Winchell, tough lead. He's up to three. Navino pounds through for a 10. 132 through nine. He'll have the high first swing. Three to the side. John, nine, 98 through nine. Final box to the first. Yep, pinning was only one in favor of Maria Subs. Marks are 18 to 15 for Outlaw Rides. 19 to 15, really. Don't forget, nine o'clock tomorrow morning, local Atlantic time, eight o'clock Eastern, quarterfinals, followed by the semis and the finals, live on Canada from Bowling Network. Cabano, one, two, five, nine, would it back to help possibly. Winchell looking for the mark. Get it closer. Nine. Ooh. Four pin left up. Silent but deadly. Hooked it. Out of the hand. One, five, nine. That was my problem a lot of times. Rolling one yeah. streak, no practice. Hook the ball, hold the ball too long. Hook Late it. release, yep. So much of a spare. No. Ooh. You thought that cap was right next to the pin. You didn't. I mean, every bowler knows the effects of a pin sticking its tongue out of you in a sense. But I think John's still very shocked that didn't deliver. Paul Grant, Greg Bugard, Dan Castle, and Kenneth Mullen ever about to start a second string after this next ball. Dan Castle with the play-by-play. -play. I'll be back for the third string. And I'll be checking scores all around the other three matches. And give you an update as we go out throughout the night. Object pin for an eight. Nothing wrong with a 140. Opening string for Andy Babineau. The outlaw rides. John Winchell, nine, 107, first string. First string belongs to outlaw rides by 35, 599 to 564. Greg with the update. Dan Castle on the play-by-play. -play. Thanks so much. Taking a look here, uh, it should be 599 for outlaw rides and 564, and it is a 35 pin advantage. John Baker tops for Maria Subs 138, but Andy Babineau 140, Calvin Locke 128, Davey Summers in 121, Ryan Fuller Jr. is 118 on Maria Subs side, but 35 pins. Here we go again for string number two. We'll get it set now. Fuller Jr. drops eight on the first one. Kaliri left side, four outlaw rides, Eric McWiggan. 
Bullard puts it on the board. Close. Horseman got run down. Eric has just the seven been left. That went pretty smooth, that, that conversion. No match points. Just straight up total pinfall after three strings. Three strings of candle pin bowling, total pinfall determining the winner. Dan Castle, your levels are up. All right. Good afternoon, almost evening to you. Good evening, everybody. What time is it? I By don't know what time it is. 5.44 p.m. Atlantic time, 4.44 Eastern time. Yeah, we're looking for the standing sheets, and Paul's looking for the mic here. I'm going to watch this string in a second here. Click this and pass it down very carefully. Stand by, Paul. That's a head pin hit. Yes, the seven pin will. Ted McGuigan has a spare chance. Uh, so that was on a spare for Fuller. I'm sorry, Dan. The reason I'm monopolizing this, I'm trying to get caught up here. I'm not no, no that, that's okay. That makes sense. I'm not trying to take it off of you. Don't Play. worry about that. Wood in front. Uh, Paul, we'll go to you now, if we may, please. Okay, Adam Melanson is leading off for Outlaw Rides, taking the place of Eric McGuigan. Mm, Adam, mm. Adam, Adam Melanson is pronounced. And a China line of change, same roster, but Craig Holbrook will now bowl fourth. Sean Baker will bowl third. Uh, that's uh, current lineup right now. We'll double check that for you in a moment. I see Craig, then Sean on the board. This is a. I'm sorry, Craig third rather than Sean fourth. Flipped it around, right? Yep. Oh, they flipped it. Okay. This is a spare conversion uh, made by Adam Melanson. So and Craig third, Sean fourth. That's it. We'll do. You. Ten box. Twenty seven through two, I believe, and they're going to scribble some things on the score sheet as well, just for good measure. This should give us a clue of the lineup. In the meantime, I was down checking some of the other matches, and um, it appears that Abel defeated New England Flooring by a good amount. I don't have the exact score yet, but they were definitely ahead at the end by an insurmountable amount. And Academy appeared to be leading um, the um, Bowling Ball Mafia. I haven't been down to the other side yet, but that's still underway. Paul will probably come back with more specifics. And we're still waiting on standing sheets. So for the close of the qualifier rounds. And uh, those haven't come out yet. I keep checking regularly. And uh, people ask me if I have them, and I don't. Um, but, you know, hopefully soon. Uh, throughout the tournament, it's been typically after the first uh, string of the next round is completed that we see that we see those. So hopefully soon. And this is Zappi. Um, and uh, Ryan Shannon. And uh, an eight box for John Zappi. Nine box for... Ryan Shannon of the Outlaws. Yep. I recognize those green shorts of Ryan Shannon. Mm -hmm. I can't, if I had looked at Adam Melanson's face, I would have recognized him in the lineup. In right, my defense. John Zappi on the head pin. Hard to miss Adam. He's always at the top of the leaderboard. Yeah. Always a friendly guy to see. I saw him at the Easter Classic. On and on I could go. All right, well, Shannon broke up that. So Zappi's looking at a lot of wood there, which hopefully will help him cover the four, seven, nine, and 10 pin. There are the lineups as we understand them. Holbrook and Baker flip and Melanson in for and Eric McGuigan. And Shannon's got the 110. Look at this for Zappi, and it does. Beautiful shot. A lot of things could have happened there with that wood, and what did happen was what Zappi wanted to happen. And there's a matching spare for Ryan Shannon. So spares in a second for both of the number two bowlers. Now our number three bowlers, Craig Holbrook on the right. And Davey Summerton on the left. Craig Holbrook, as we've mentioned several times, is a Hall of Famer, well-known quantity in this business, and one of the gentlemen of the game. Holbrook. Okay, he's on the head pin, drops five. 
And uh, Summerton's over on the four pin, or the six pin, I'm sorry, he takes out that right hand triangle. So Craig Holbrook waiting on some wood to settle down. And uh, he's got a tough lead. He's got a triangle to the left. So four, seven, eight. And on the right, he's got the six pin and the nine pin sitting there. Summerton's leaves a more pins, but it's a little more straightforward to pick up. It's the one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight. Or it's the row of four and row of three. And uh, I know for experience, you put that in the pocket, it should go. Greg's going to play the wood. Why did I and say whoops? Uh, I missed the wood. It's a genius shot, actually. Well, well, you're looking at one of the geniuses of the game here. And a nine box for Holbrook. Tell a Hall of Famer whoops. Who am I? And a nine box for Summerton. Well, Craig doesn't get all of them, but he puts bid good bids on most of them. He's had to. He's got a plethora of splits, including that one. I'm just curious. Early going. I, I mean, the, the way I th would think of that is to try for the three and carry it over, but he was going to use that wood. He read that wood as good, and it was pretty good. Didn't take everything. Holbrook on the two pin. All right. Ford, a six down. And uh, Summerson says, I'll copy you, Craig. I'll put it on the two pin, too. And uh, he takes out six. In fact, both of them take out six. Holbrook's got the head pin, three pin, seven pin and nine pin and the three pin is the only one that goes in that attempt and on the next ball summerton with a spare bit he gets it only one other match completed so far, well one string completed in the first of three able construction number three seed against number four seed new england flooring it's able construction by 75 pins 604 to 529 glenn murphy erupts for a 144. Woo. Well, um, unbelievable in kingswood information soon to you late in the first Obviously, LR rides won the first here, 599, 599, 564. And we'll get the action on the other match later on. So that confirms where my read was on the um, New England flooring versus Abel. So they're starting their second round now. We'll remind folks the brackets in just a moment. Fenway Academy and A, a not to be confused with Academy Lanes. Fenway Academy and A-plus accounting have the first round buys. Oh, and there's a strike for Sean Baker. And uh, Calvin Locke, the king of the north, gets nine. And that's gone. If you ask Tim Matero or Brian Athern, uh, the co-hosts with Calvin Locke on the Ripping the Rack podcast, a weekly podcast, apart from this past Monday, of course. Uh, or bi-weekly, but they come out Mondays live nowadays with great Camelton uh, discussion. You can check that out on YouTube or wherever you get your podcast, Ripping the Rack. So Baker with the early advantage on this, punches out two in his first ball. And Locke, Ooh. wow, we saw this before in this lane. Just the three pin chip shot, a quarter Worcester we call that. Sean Baker, and he puts eight in his strike. Good. Calvin Locke trying to spare that. One, five, and ten go. That basically picks up a mark for Maria Subs in the fence. And, and something else went too. And uh, he ended up with five left. Baker ends up with a nine box. And Calvin Whoa. Locke makes a ten, nine out of that too. With a split conversion in a sense. The wrong one, but still. I mean, on a third ball, it's perfect. And the last time we covered Sean Baker, he put on a good show for us. And uh, we'll hopefully see the game thing again. And it was uh, fun with him. He was uh, making multiple marks and calling his shots after Craig Holbrook attempted to call a shot. All right, for the Outlaws on your, well, for the Maria's on the right is John Winchell, legendary bowler in his own right. And he punches out a half whister to start. And Andy Balbino, Babino, Babino. That's it. Okay, I, I know the name. Um, st starts with a seven drop. And the two, four, seven are left. Winchell going to try to spare the half Worcester. And Bab Babineau, that wood it was helicoptering and it just went far enough back to tap it. So a spare for, for Andy Babineau. 
and he's quite animated about that. And Winchell settles for a nine box. I'm actually going to take this. Uh, should I take the string total away? I feel like I should just. Yeah, the string total doesn't really matter. It's all about. It doesn't total. matter. Let's just blot that out. Well, it matters, but the real score we need to deal with is pinfall. I think that's a fair way to list it. And at the moment, Matt and Maria subs have the advantage. So Babino puts five on his fill. Took out half the pins. And Winchell has a much more straightforward shot to make. He has the one, two, and four pin in a line. And just the two, uh, the, the two goes. Babineau puts a good bid on that, and with the 7-10 remain. With Winchell's cross lane delivery, he would much rather be aiming at the one three six if given the choice. No, oh, that that's true. Um, I suppose that's true for most righties, but but he has a definite cross lane ball. You see how far that comes over. It pretty much started near the near the channel. Uh, so eight box for Winchell, ten box for Babineau. Yeah, that ball bounced out. That is an extra stick. Will that matter? Here's what we see, 29 pins and two marks for Outlaw Rides on the board for the top three. Adam Alonson and Brian Fuller Jr. back up. Number of substitutions can be made before the halfway point in a string if it comes to that. All to play for. Other brackets in play. Academy Lanes versus Bowling Ball Mafia. Abel versus New England Flooring. This matchup here. And Kingswood versus Unbowl Leavable Lanes. That's left to right on uh, 6, 7, 9, 10, 13, 14, and 17, 18. All right. And, uh, hmm. well, well, we'll have to come back to the standing sheets at some point. We'll, we'll post those up whenever they come out. Let's do it this way. Now that we're into the playoffs, th what we're talking about there is mostly history that, that can wait for a little bit. I'm, I'm not trying to be uh, uh, um, abrupt about that or aloof about that, but... Um, we're trying to get them, and I haven't seen them yet. Melanson put five on his spare. Brian Fuller Jr. Well, Melanson misses a spare attempt. Brian Fuller Jr. dropped eight. The two ten split. Oh, good, good shot at that. Something going over the ten pin, but in front of it. That won't do him any good. Melanson ends up with a. Six box or seven? Seven box. It is. I can take the camera back in if that's bad. No, no this, um, it's just a little fuzzy, but I, I can see from here. I, I alternate. It's sometimes in 10 box for Fuller. Sometimes it's easier to see from the monitor because a lot of people in front of me that Greg has shot the camera over, so we don't really see most of them. But, uh, and the bowlers can block the pins too when you're watching it, but Sometimes they get a better view from standing, sometimes from watching the monitor. So look at Melanson here on box four. In the pocket, nicely. Five go down, five stay up. The five that are up are kind of uh, nasty. Fuller's on the head pin and gets a spread eagle less a two pin. And yeah. it four for four on the head pin, but only one good bona fide leave, and Fuller's made that one. And put 10 on the rest. All right, so Paul's coming back. <laughs> that wood's going to propel her almost through everything. Ten pin stranded for Melanson. And Fuller makes a spare out of that mess. I love three and two makes so much. That was a great shot. Carried the things over, lots of power on that. And now Melanson looking for a 10 with this 10 pin. Get the 10 for a 10. Here's the box, it's a and nine box. It's a nine box, and Paul? Okay, other updates, folks. Able Construction, we mentioned earlier, 604, 529 of a New England flooring, up 75 after one. Glenn Murphy's 144. Bowling Ball Mafia, surprise. Got in the last spot. The fifth seed, the number two seed, Academy. Academy Lane's trails, the defending champs trail by 67, five on the first string. Mark Webber to 142 for Bowling Ball Mafia. The destroyer, Josh Shelley, 153. 
the Baltimore Mafia has the lead, 664 to 597, 67 pin lead. Unbelievable lanes, trails Kingswood Bulletproof by 34, Kingswood 621, unbelievable 587. Sean Duthright, another big string, 153. Outlaw rides here, won the first, 599 to 564 of Maria Subs. Back to Dan and Greg. All right, and uh, we, we saw John Zappi put four or six on his fill. And Shannon uh, was not on a, on a uh, spare, but he dropped eight. And, um, and there, there was a third ball, so a 10 for Zappi, a nine for Shannon. Outlaw Riders in the lead right now. With, by 28 pins, they're both sitting on a mark. Shannon with his first ball in the pocket. Oh, he oh, got lucky on that one. Maybe not enough. Um, so he broke up the 4-6 split. Looks so pretty going down. Turned that ball over so sweetly. Zappy not happy with that. He was on the 6 pin. Took out the back triangle. And Shannon took advantage of that nine drop, made a spare out of that. Zappi in the pocket on this and will not get the seven pin. So open box for John Zappi. And Zappi picks up the 10 box for 44 after three. Shannon's at 43 plus a ball. Okay, uh, Craig Holbrook on your left. Davey Summerton on your right. Maria subs on the left. Outlaw Riders currently bowling on the right. Summerton's on a fill. He's at 19 plus this ball. And his first ball is in the left pocket and it's a nine drop. So nine in the fill for him. And he left a five pin with some wood. Holbrook is in the right pocket. So he crossed over as a lefty. He's left with the triangle, drop seven. I see one vote against the zoom out camera view. Let me know if All right. this is not doing it for you. Nice Summer nine on another. Summerton with a spare. Holbrook, oh, I hate that when that happens. Too precise on the triangle, puts it right through the middle. What does Craig have to do? And a field goal. I'll be interested to see if he thinks his ball isn't working properly. He's very scientific, of course, having had the chance to listen to him talk about the game in how ball angles and entries. He's such a sweetheart of a guy. We were talking yesterday or day before, and I guess he'd seen a couple of my ACS team matches here and there, but I said, I just don't feel like I'm on right now. And he says, I'll watch some of your videos, and then I'll let you know. I mean, what a great guy. I'm nowhere near the caliber of a Craig Holbrook. I appreciate that, Craig. I really do. Hey, Phil for Summerton. Good count. Can he stack it up? Yes. Uh, and Mark uh, again for him. Now, Holbrook's got the triangle again. Maybe this time he can make it work. He was on it last time, but too much. Mm. This time, too much to the left. That triangle is giving him grief. And a nine box for Craig Holbrook. Nine for Craig, got that. One on either side of the triangle. I'll take a look at the YouTube feed and see what I can see is going on over there. Run my battery down some more. It is true that the outside lanes, we can't, it's nice to know that there's other bowling, but we can't really see who's on, so. I'm just going to center up on this one. Sorry, folks. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, that's yeah, never, you, that is yeah, never you, going to work in a million years. No, you, you don't want that part of the part of the point of watching bowling is to see the pins fall. I, I mean, you know, that's a, that's a, it's a valid point. It's a valid Summerton point. Summerton put no, six in that. his, right? Nope, nope, that's Calvin Locke. Excuse me. Yeah. All right, actually. Split conversion. No, we're up to Locke and Baker. Sorry. Okay. So yeah. Calvin Locke. That's me trying to be my own cameraman. Apologies. All right, that's okay. 
I'm guided very much by your scoreboard up there. So a lock with a 10 box. Went blindly into the light. Sean Baker with a 10 box. And then I'll do one more shot and then we should be able to. Now he's got a 10 box. He didn't have it yet. You, 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 you used your uh, clairvoyance to predict it. Pretty good at that, actually. Ah, oh, cheers. You, you, you assumed and uh, you were right. A uh, little less. You think? No, that's not bad. That's, that's, yeah, that's not bad. There we go. Calvin Locke on the right. Leaves four horsemen. Calvin earlier in the singles tournament, as you probably well know, hit a 206. If anybody needs to know what the reset lights are doing, I suppose you can, there's more witnesses. <laughs> I say completely tongue in cheek. Oh, geez. Our video was used as evidence in a grievance committee hearing. It was, we discussed oh, it on there's air. there's a mark for Sean Baker. Locke previously had punched through the two pin. Will he go for three or go for two? He's going for the opening. There was a question of whether a bowler had thrown a ball against a red light, essentially. It was an accident that the red light was on in the first place, but it's not like it was going off after a cycle. It was very clearly on. They threw a strike on spare, but it had to be taken off the board after the opposite division's grievance committee uh, discussed. That's all the, our Candlepin Bowling Network video. It was, we were approached for this, by the way. We did not snitch. No, we don't. We, we've seen we've seen a couple, not very many, but one or two errors on the part of bowlers in lanes, maybe even not the lanes we're covering. We're human. So, in fact, I, I think we saw a foot foul or something on one lane we weren't covering. And, you know, that's up to them. That's up to the bowlers. Part of our job is not to be part of the action yeah. here. The most we would do is remark, and even there, tastefully. So Babineau on your right, Winchell on your left, our fifth bowlers. Babineau drops six, Winchell drops five. Babineau, great bid on that, and he got it. Tremendous. Three in a row on the left and a nine pin and took it out. Now let's see if Winchell can match it. That was a great shot. Winchell coming in on it, and he picks up his. Matching spares in the third for John Winchell and Andy Babineau. Super cliche, but these are solid anchors. And there's not a bad bowler on either one of these teams. Mm-mm. Now, uh, so Scott, what the result of that was, we found out later, was the bowler lost the strike. He had to bowl it over. I think, I, they may have yes. taken, given him a zero, but I think they took, made him bowl it over. No, it's a do-over, just the shot didn't count, like it never happened. So, Winchell put seven in his fill. Ooh. Another mark for Andy Babineau. What from behind. Really putting the heat on John Winchell, who's not doing terrible. Okay, Winchell wants another mark to match that. Look at that. You see how precise that ball was? You, you just knew as it was going down that was going to happen. The mark for John Winchell, a mark for Andy Babineau. Where do, Greg's going down to check it out. So at the moment, the Outlaw Riders have a 47 pin lead over Maria subs in total. We're four boxes into the second string. And uh, that's coming from um, being added to by the lead they have in this string right now. They have three open marks on each side. And right now we're gonna see one filled by Brian Fuller Jr. On the head pin. Well, if one change in the lineup here, Greg Holberg is going to sit out for now. Brian Mayer is going to take his place, M-A-Y-E-R. He has the high single in the tournament, 182. And we saw that. From Maria Sub. Yeah, we, we saw that, actually. So Fuller put seven on his fill, and uh, Mel Melanson also dropped seven. Fuller only gets two. Melanson is looking at the four, seven, ten, split with Wood. And uh, somehow the seven pin didn't go. I thought he hit it pretty good, but not good enough. And uh, Fuller picks up the 10. Don't waste any pins in this event. So now we're looking for Melanson to try to make a matching 10. There it goes. 
10 and 10. So Fuller was able to pick up from the fill, but picked up seven pins total, but um, they're keeping it close now. On the right is John, is that John Zappi? Or no, Fuller still, we're still on their next box, I'm sorry. Winchell is one pin too high, 33 through three. Um, Uh-oh, okay. Uh, yes, Paul. John Zappi takes himself out the captain. Aaron Spiller taking his place. Aaron Spiller in relief of John Zappi for Maria's. All right, so that's Spiller that's on the on the lanes right now. And Shannon, in the meantime, put nine on his fill. So Spiller, good bid. These guys are very actively managing their teams. Who's hot, who's cold? And uh, another spare for Shannon. And it shows no, wait, our oh, Spiller. Oh, Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. No, no, you got it backwards. It's uh, Shannon that got spare Spiller the 10 okay, box. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. I've made a bad error. I've made a bad error. I've made a bad error. Um, I had it. Hang on. Sorry. Melanson made a 10 box, did he not? Yes, that's he did. All, uh, no, that's a spare. Spare. No, he had a spare. I'm sorry. Muller had the 10. I got completely turned around by that. I got distracted at a critical moment. I'm so annoyed. All right. Um, no, sorry. Aaron Spiller is in. Um, All right, I'm let's going, this is, this announcement time. is going to have to wait, Paul. I'm sorry. I'm overwhelmed. Yeah, we're kind of in the middle of a lot here. Spiller is on. Off target, rather. Over to you, Dan. Okay, and we just saw. That's Ryan Shannon. Green shorts and all eight. Phil. All right, so we're on the right ballers here. Okay, good deal. So Aaron Spiller. Clean up what we've got down there. Sorry, sometimes when we get announcements coming in and trying to do this, uh, things can get goofed up a little bit. So really? Good bid by Shannon. Wow. Whoa. Nine box for Aaron Spiller. Ten box for Shannon. Okay. Um, all right. Um, so Aaron Spiller. Coming okay. In. That all scores are confirmed, by the way. That's There's gone. a strike. That was big. See ya. So we now see Ryan Shannon trying to match that. Nine. Ooh. All right, he's got a good spare opportunity here. He spared the last nine drop. Trying to keep away from giving Maria's too big of an advantage on that box. There it goes, all right. Bye-bye. Sat on a mark every time, if anyone was sitting. Well, I, I appreciate how the guys actively manage their lineups and uh, will even voluntarily take themselves out to let somebody who's got a little more going right now if they feeling that they're not there. And and that is hopefully where you get the egos. You don't want to hurt your team by staying in if somebody could do better. It's a team effort. Here's Brian Mayer as announced. Mr. 182. Calvin Locks 206 was in the singles portion of the competition. And Summerton with a fill. Oh. And that's a spread eagles to four and a fill. And Mayer with an open box. Ouch. Your goal is to take three and three, and now if you miss everything, you might be looking at a seven box at best, unless you get a good, good ball and can carry some more. Nine box for Mayer. And oh, no. a five box for Summerton. That's so spread eagle. So the spare fizzles in effect. Oh, yeah. So... Still a monster advantage for Outlaw Rye. Throw her up by eight marks in the match. Maria Stubbs has clawed back one mark through pinning, seven pins in their favor, but 
That's all, right. all we have to say for now. Mary looking, Mary Mayer looking for a big box here. He's in the pocket. Ooh. And now he's going to make a shot because he Jeez. has the five, four and a five together. And a piece of wood is kind of out in the front. Two for two off the bench. Somerton leaves a Cleary left. Thanks, Chris. Appreciate it. All right, you got the YouTube comments? Yeah. Okay, good deal. I'll flip back over to Facebook. Nice shot. Galeri conversion for Davey Somerton. He's got four marks. And I think he went ahead of Mayer, if I'm correct. Nope, nope. nine bucks. Nope, that was a nine bucks. Mayer pinned down that split pretty well. That's four. a really tough shot to make. It's this is interesting. Davey has three head pins and four spares, despite that. John Baker and Calvin Locke. And, uh, yeah, I do see a comment here that's relevant. So the hatchet, hatchet men did not make it. In. Right. They are, they are out. Any other questions about standings and such, please do uh, let us know, obviously. We'll take the questions of the order they're received and when we can, but we'd love to hear from you. Questions, uh, praise, constructive critiques, we'll take it. And Billy Shiner, you are right. John Zappi is all for the team. And uh, Sean Baker is all Whoa. about the spare. Calvin close. Sean Baker with a mark. That was Baker with a mark. Yes, I got it on the wrong side somehow. Locke with almost a mark. Yeah, that's indeed the case. So that goes on the board as such. 65 and a ball for Baker at the half. 47 half for Locke. Six blocks for each. All right, let's see what Baker fills this with. How about 10? Why not? Needed that. Lock. Wakey, wakey, team. Let's get it going. Baker's got a nice advantage over Lock. Baker can get everybody fired up. He's, he's really good at that. And uh, after, after this ball, let's give Paul a chance if he wants. Oh, no. And eight box for Lock. Not quite. One See, more ball. He's missed that oh, sorry, spare opportunity. Sorry, sorry. Straight through the middle of it. Okay. I was looking at that, and now Paul's going the other direction, so I guess he doesn't want to make comments. So. Yeah, we'll sit tight. 56 through 6 for Calvin Locke. Still Outlaw Rise favored in this string, in fact, with that extra mark standing. Remember, yellow blots between total and game tell you how many marks are open or unfilled on each side. Four to three for Outlaw Rides. All right. John Winchell on your right on a fill. Andy Babineau on your left on a fill. Maria Subs trying to catch up here, and that fill's not going to be helpful. Ooh. And that fill hurt. That was a 10 fill for Andy Babineau. So Winchell needs to make a pro shot here, but he's a pro bowler, so I'd give him better odds than most of picking up this half Worcester minus a couple of pins. Dave Chesterkoff's favorite. It's pretty when it goes. He's on it, and he gets it. What do I tell you? Clattered into a heap. These guys make it look easy. So he lost a spare in that exchange. Andy Babineau clutch again with his fourth mark in the half. But both on a mark. It, that's good turn the other way. But Winchell says, all right, I'll get at least one fill ball right. out of that. Maria's neat this quickly or else this could get out of hand in a jiffy. All right, Winchell on a fill. What's he got? Not what he wanted. Only five. Maybe four. Four, the eight pin is up there. Babino, Off target four again? Oh, dear. Yep. He was on a three pin. Babino put eight in his first ball and leaves a six. Um, looks like a five and a seven. I thought it was a seven and eight. Two seven, maybe? Mm, yeah, two seven. Had my head down, putting that four fill on the board. No it's mark. a little bit odd. And another mark for Babino. Donner. Stacking 20s. Who put something in his water? That's amazing. Just a hint. 
That's good flavored water you got us. Thanks so much. Nine box for Winchell, seven eight through six. Oh, back up. We can't see you, Sean. Sean, Sean breaks the fourth wall here frequently and speaks to the camera. So he was saying something I couldn't understand what he was saying. Yeah, I wish I could too. Sorry, Sean, we're trying to avoid the heads in front. I love it when he comes up. He did yesterday in a fashion. All right, where are we at? All right, 9.55 for the Outlaw Riders right now versus 9.10. They're on four marks. The oh. area subs are on two, but they're strikes. Melanson. Nine drop. Brian Fuller. Oh, it's a seven. It's going to be eight. Uh, the wood helps. It didn't tip it. Yeah, but that's probably a better leave than if he took out the seven pin because he has the eight pin back there behind the two. Melanson is off. Uh, doesn't pick up the spare. What happened? And uh, Fuller did a great job on that, but the eight pin stayed up. So both bowlers open. 10 for Melanson, 10 for Fuller. Barn burner between these two guys. They're just keeping even with each other pretty well. And I, I know Fuller has a five pin advantage, but that's not much. One spare can change that rapidly. Uh, the two and the five pin quit. Are they in a lie down strike? I don't know. Yeah, they got tired. They're being run ragged by all these bowlers. Once again, the playoff matchups, five and six have Academy and Academy Lanes and Bowling Ball Mafia. Team Abel, Abel versus New England Flooring is on nine and 10. Here's this matchup and then 17 and 18, Kingswood versus Unbelievable. Balance at four horsemen. Okay, just checking comments. Appreciate it, Dan, thank you. Guys. Thank you for covering. Oh, wow. Malanza just missed, or uh, Fuller just missed. It looked blue for a second, his shirt. That's what goofed me up. So Fuller drops a nine, leaves a seven pin. I took the night filter off the thing and everything. What's that? I took the night filter off my computer and everything. It's unsetting in Moncton a bit, but. There you go. The All night right. is young. Important spare. Oh, no, 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 no. no. Don't hit the wood in the channel. Sorry, that'll score nine. So that gives you an automatic nine box in that event. And uh, Melanson matches the nine box. Fuller's not happy with that. That, you know, it's easy enough to do. Uh, we, we all do it. It's a frequent occurrence in this game, but of course, a disappointing at a moment like that. He was trying to avoid capping the wood and uh, staying a little on the right or left of that, and it just didn't go. It did happen for him. A bit of mischief from the Canadian flat gutters. I don't say that pejoratively. It's just a new, unique obstacle. All right, Shannon is on a spare. Got to play the conditions of the house. And it looks like he put six in that. Maybe seven, but wait a second. And we watch Aaron Spiller put down four to begin with. Just four yep. right out? Yep, that's a six for Shannon. Right side out. So took off. The right side of the rack, correct? That's it. Shannon on the diamond and just clips the left pin. The opportunity here for Good Fuller. Sticks. And uh, couldn't get the spare on it, but it put nine in the fill. So that's a gainer for Maria's. Ten for Shannon. Spiller looking for matching ten. And that, that helped the cause of the Maria's team. Um, but yep. they've got a 51 pin deficit to overcome in. 13 boxes, basically. Exactly, yeah. Pinning by six is not going to overcome this deficit just yet. But if the marks start are coming, you might thank yourself for that later. Well, we have Sean Baker coming up pretty soon. Whoa, really? I can't believe how fast their balls are. Say no drive, no five to his face. After how much bowling they've been doing. Seriously, these guys have, uh, even the guys who, you know, they've been subbing in and out, but throwing the number of games they have thrown. And they're still going strong with incredibly powerful balls. Tip. Oh, where? There you go. You got a break. See if Spiller can match it. And he does. Marks on both sides. Shannon's was pretty cool. Great wood sweep. 
Ball coming back. He's excited. He runs down to get his opponent's ball. We're sweeping, but that's not a curling shot. No, not a curling shot. Curling shot. The ball's going back and forth, and I believe there's a little elf in front of it with a broom sweeping the ice back and forth. <laughs> We're getting stir crazy again, guys. I'm fine. I just had a gremlin in my head. Summerton 75 plus. Oh, baby. How about plus nine? Summerton's getting such good head pin contact. Crowd yelling at the pins. What's holding you up, they say. And a nine fill on the other side. Yeah, Mayer's gotten his best look on the head pin, having hit it every time, unless this would cause us mischief. There's a spare. Five and seven for Summerton. No. Oh, jeez. Adverse wood, it so did. The wood was covering, but it couldn't pick up that's the problem with vertical pieces of wood, diagonal, just in the way. It looked good to me, but it was out a little ways, and that's what can happen when they're out a little ways. So a 10 box from there. This is continuing the balloon. It is now eight, nine extra marks for Outlaw Rides. Summerton, first ball, off on the left, only five in the fill. Mayer on a two on a three pin, and he avoids a half whister, but it's not much better. He's got four down. Summerton puts a bid on that one. Mayer in the object, but doesn't go, so. Right now, Summerton's only got one, two for the 10. And a nine box for him. Mayer with a seven box. Picked up a couple in the process. He's Dan Castle. My name is Greg Guyar. Thanks so much for watching this presentation of Candlepin Bowling Network. Sorry, that sounds like the outro. We're only just begun. But alongside Paul Grant and Bob Lee, uh, we hope you'll like and follow our page on Facebook and subscribe on YouTube so you're always in the know, especially about all our playoff matches coming up tomorrow and our future bowling content. Either way, just by having you watching, you're supporting us and the bowlers. Thank you so much. All right, we're ahead to the next bowlers. Calvin Locke and Sean Baker, thank you. Calvin, uh, very well-known bowler up in these parts. One of the best. Baker, there's a bomb. Strike on strike, double strike for Sean Baker. And uh, I think if he does it again, he'll climb in the booth with us. Yeah. He threw that double strike for lucky strike in the finals. I remember that. Baker. It didn't work out, but he was carrying his team on his back. Look at this. Baker was just standing there staring at the pins. Don't any, doesn't want to see anything else. Just completely focused on the pins. And he's such a mild-mannered guy off the lanes. Many of these bowlers are, honestly. But just... Something about these moments just unlocks a higher gear in Sean Baker. He was a common feature on some of the older TV shows. When he was younger, and oh. Locke, Locke tries to strike. I mean, that was a hammer ball. Somehow the 10 pin survived. Baker's going for a triple here. It's in there. Did he? He's yes. got a triple. Whoa. A three-bagger, a turkey for Sean Baker. Wow. Talk about picking up your team. Galvin played the keep wood. Going. Galvin played the wood to make that spare. Oh, he's coming back. No, he's, yeah, he's coming back. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> We thought he was going to go. He's still in the mix. He could get a four-bagger here. Yeah, yeah. That was big. So that 30 box certainly helped. I turned the screen around so we could see where he's at. But anyway, Babado. Oh. Uh -oh. Punch out, just two in the fill. 
momentum may be changing a little bit here, even though there's a 37 pin lead for 39 pin lead for the Outlaw Riders. That's about half where they were if the double strike is filled well. If it gets doubled again, triple look out. strike, triple strike. That was a three bagger. Yeah, well, the double is open, yeah. Uh, yeah, double's open, correct. All right, Winchell on his spare attempt. Oh, good bid. It's the sort of forward ball you want, but just didn't collect anything into the three pin. Too bad. All right, Babineau closes with an eight box at the seven. At for 104 at seven. Winchell looking to get at least a few here, and he's got everything but the kingpin. So he picks they pick, picks up a pin for his team, but he is down quite a bit from Babineau, so he really wants to rub Sean Baker's head and see if he can get some of that magic to work. <laughs> there he comes. Now he's going over there. I, I keep, after he's done it a couple of times, I'm just kind of half expecting to see him up here. Pavlovian conditioning, eight drop for Babineau. All right, Winchell looking for a big one here. In the pocket, little light. Messenger coming over, but just positioning itself to maybe help cover the eight pin. That's a lamb to leave in it. That um, three in the eight, mm, not maybe. Oh, oh. Spare for Babineau. No deal for Winchell, the eight pin stayed up. All right, and I think Greg's gonna check the scores momentarily. So a 10 box for John Winchell for 89 after eight boxes. And with two boxes to go in a string, the Outlaw Riders do have a 38 pin advantage over Maria Subs. However, and they're on three marks, Maria Subs is on one mark or two marks, one of which is an open double strike. So very exciting here to see if Baker can keep the strikes coming. Maybe we'll see a four bagger here. And Melanson or a Fuller starts out with a eight drop. Has a spare leave there. And uh, our, our uh, pin chaser down there slid into the pin area as if he was sliding to second. <laughs> Holding his chest like, oh, geez. Could have gone into the pit. Didn't think about that. Better than getting picked off at second. Sorry, <laughs> went there. <laughs> that was rude of me. I think I just alienated some of our audience. All right. There's a mark for Brian Fuller Jr. Now, Adam Melanson, Melanson. Okay, couldn't pick it up. He's trying to, trying to and has to cut that three pin over to the seven. I go on about how great it is to be a part of the entire Candlepin community, the complete Candlepin community, and then I go and say that. Anybody want to comment on Facebook? We appreciate it. Nine box for Adam Melanson. On to Phil, Fuller hits a head pin and they're slowly falling. Scores confirmed, so, let's so rock. So that's a six, Phil, and in the back is a nine pin at an angle. Melanson also on the head pin, but he ends up with a diamond and the seven pin standing. So Fuller looking to see if he can mark this. All scores are confirmed as you see it. Yeah, he, he does. And that was the three, eight, nine, eight, ten. nine, ten. That was pretty well done. That was pretty. Oh, diamond went, but not the seven for Melanson. Adam close to his third mark. And by the booth is one of our li bowling colleagues and live streaming colleagues, Corey Alecci. Alecci. He's here. The Candlepin corner. 107. Fuller I, Jr. I on know, a mark. I know what that word is. Oh, 
We're informed that all the stats and final seedings are now available on LeagueSecretary.com. Fuller Jr. with a six fill for 125. So we'll try and obtain that ourselves when we get a well, chance. I'm going to open up the. You can do that, and I can watch this. That's absolutely fine. Okay, just hang on a second, and I will look at that. This, this margin has shrunk down to 25 pins, and Baker can dump another strike on that chain. That would be the quickest way. Aaron Spiller on a spare. This strike would also be big. There's plenty of time. Good ball. Yep. I mean, that's job done at the still midway stage. That's plenty of time for that to matter. Shannon, Shannon's on a matching spare. And uh, <laughs> all right, you got some luck, so match this, the fill. The fill is seven on each. I corrected that. Fill is seven for Sh Shannon, 104 through eight. Goner, seven, eight, ten. All right, and let me get the uh, 11th week numbers up here and see if they're there. There they are. Seven and another. Four pin hit and gone for Shannon. Spare back to back. And his fifth of the string. Craig Holbrook, don't send Craig down to chase a ball. But you did. All right, well, he no, he didn't. Nobody sent him. He went and did it. He's a gentleman. And a multi-sport athlete. Yes, he is. Okay, make eight for Spiller for the fill. Good fill. Uh-oh. And a two fill for Shannon. Not often you see the bowler hold out the two fingers on that. Or was it one? Spiller spares the 7-10 split. For his third straight. Three in a row. Good wood shot, turned it into the 7-10. Third ball coming on up for Ryan Shannon. Okay. Shannon with an eight box. Which should be for uh, 124. That's confirmed, 231. Spiller on the fill, and there's 10 on the fill, and that closes the gap a lot. The fill is 10. We're now a seven pin match, and we have Sean Baker coming up, who's on a triple, but not before uh, Brian Mayer bowls first. Uh, uh, yeah, that was <laughs> big. Yeah, I caught it. I knew that was coming. Oh, yeah. All right. I know. I know you know. I'm telling the folks. This, they, I hope nobody tuned out when it was 50 apart. That'd be a mistake. It's a mistake with either of these teams. You put 50 on one of them, you, you, you know, you have to pretty much because they can come back and 50 may not be enough. Brian Mayer on the head pin. Split. And that's a 2-4-6 split. And there's a bomb for Somerton for a strike for him. Needed that. Jeez. All right. Brian Mayer has only missed one head pin off the bench and just cannot get it to go. Is that splits, it bad wood? He's having one of those strings. Maybe he used up all his luck in that 182. There's a 10 box. All right, Mayer looking to try to get some catching up with Somerton. Somerton on a strike, 118 and two balls, and Mayer 81 after nine. Needs a spare to get to 100. And that's mm. not going to help. Mm -mm -mm -mm. He's trying to spin it over to the pocket. First to two fills is seven for Somerton. All right, Mayer needs to make a shot. I know he can do it. He's got to pick up that half Worcester leave. He's in there, a little full on a head pin though, and uh, leaves three more. Somerton leaves the head pin, hard to believe, but that's the pin that's still standing. Strike filled itself. And Mayer picks up two, goes for the safe side of it, and um, that nine box gives him a 90. Summerton with a 10 box. 137. And uh, see if I can get the 11th week coming down, which is how they're doing this. There All it is. Right. It's coming in. Here comes this. Stay tuned, gang. Sean Baker is on a triple. 
So a possible four bagger, five bagger, six, seven. All possibilities are open at the moment. But we're filling a double strike. Baker was was in the zone. See what he got has here. Taking his time. Oh, right in a pocket, but no strike this time. Thin, apparently. And a punch out for Calvin Locke. So that's five to add to the second strike. Calvin Locke gets three on that. Yep. That's a punch. John Baker's second strike fill is eight. And, and the box is eight. Locke goes through the curtain and he That's a five box for Locke. Loses three pins in the exchange. So Baker's at 156 after nine. Should be over 160 or with a, with a poor fill on a mark over 170. No offense to that piece of paper. I just needed it off my board. All right, seven's his first ball, and I kind of like the wood for him. Oh, Corey Locke punches out a half Worcester left. Calvin. Half Worcester right. The punch out is on the right, the three and the eight. All right, Baker's got a spare opportunity here. Ooh. Oh, are, are, are you kidding me? Pins went on both sides of the back pin, but... All right, there he's, you go. He's shaking his head maybe like he didn't like the placement. I didn't hear the banter. Ah, Wood rolls off the wrong way for Calvin. Calvin, no mark. Calvin Lock will be under 100 in this string. And Sean Baker will be at 166. Calvin Lock at 94. Rushing to push the button on that one. Yeah, Lock only missed three head pins in that string. That's harsh. Maybe missed a few conversions. And after the string, I'll post the final sheet from the qualifying rounds up on the Candlepin chat. So you can see that there. That low rides. All right. I'll, I'll pan Paul the microphone. And however, let's see this call. Babineau is in there. His fill is nine on the spare. That extends their lead by another nine pins. So that puts him to 13 plus for the Outlaw Riders. And a Close. spare for Babineau. I Everything the but the four pin for Winchell. Sorry, I didn't mean to step on you here. No problem against the Winchell near miss. Well, watch this Winchell third ball and then turn it over to Paul. Here's the ball, and it's a 10 box for 99 through 9. Paul. Just a, minute, a correction on that first string. The Academy had I reported 67. It's actually either, uh, only 33, I believe. So my, my mistake on transposing the information. Academy about even right now in the match with Bowling Ball Mafia. Thank you, Paul. All right, final box of this game. 13 pin advantage for Outlaw Riders, plus they have a strike fill, or spare fill. Winchell on the head pin. Babineau takes, puts seven on his fill, so that's 140 after nine. They have opposite sparrow leaves. Winchell's looking at the three, six, and four, while Babineau's looking at the two, four, and six. So you have odd numbers or even numbers. Take your pick. And uh, right now the odd numbers are a little bit ahead because Winchell took two and Babineau took one. Ten box for Winchell, nine box for Babineau, and that's the game for game two of three. Ten box for Winchell. Okay, so 109. Move it to the third string of three. No, Paul, stand by. I'm gonna. I need, need a lot of time to reset You're everything. Up. That's right. Okay, fine. We'll put that piece of paper there. Uh, Paul's I'm coming gonna, up. I'm, I'm going down. 
681 to 6, 611 to 627. That really should read. Uh, oh, it was 601. It, then it moved to 611. There we go. So 627 to 611 is the confirmation. One five one thirty seven. Ninety one sixty six. One oh nine. Or six twenty seven. Oh, I forgot to take the levels down on this. Stand by, folks. We're going to get this going in just a moment. Stand by, Paul. Margin is 19. The box is 10 for each, I believe. Uh, Paul, I'll turn your levels up. Welcome to the 2023 third string, final string of the match. Unless we have overtime, Paul Grant, Greg Gouillard, Dan Castle on Kenneth and Bowling Network Men's ICC World Championship Playoffs, round one. Quarterfinals, semis, and finals tomorrow morning live here in Moncton, New Brunswick, Canada at Fairlanes. 9 o'clock local time, Atlantic time, 8 o'clock East Coast time on Candlepin Bowling Network. 19 pin lead through two for Outlaw Rides. All that matters is after three strings. Adam Melanson. Oof. Has been replaced now uh, in the first spot. That's Calvin Locke. Uh, Calvin Locke. Calvin Melanson let off last string. Now Calvin Locke in for him, obviously. That's Fuller Jr. Right, still. Fuller Jr. in the first spot. It's Calvin. It's two tens, 20 through two. Okay. I, I didn't see Adams, Adams Melanson's first string, uh, second string score. All right, Fuller got a spare seven and then a nine box. That should be 26 through two. I'm sorry, the, amid the string transition, I, I missed that. 26 through two should be correct. And now let's see who goes out. At least down to 13 for Outlaw Rides. It led pretty much all the way. Ryan Shannon stays in position two. This is Ryan Feast. Thank you. Maria Subs, very good bowler. On lane 13, the green shirt. Maria Subs, been a grind today, but they're in the playoffs and trying to advance to the quarterfinals tomorrow morning. Brian Shannon, five middle, 10 right, 5 2 split for Brian Feast. <laughs> a lot of shuffling around from Maria Subs. They're down in the 50s, down to 13 right now. Good bid. He got it. Nice shot. Spare. Good shot. Timber. Spare to start his third. Ryan Feast, 6 10 right, 7 left. Grab two for nine. So Sean Baker with a. 166 to drag his team in. The guy is a beast. Always seems to step up in the big moment, Sean Baker. Hall of Fame eligible next time around. The lineup is in Fuller, Feast, Spiller, Baker, and Winchell. Six in this pair for Ryan Shannon, 16 through one. Ryan Feast, tough lead, look at this one. One, three, nine in the middle. Four, seven, eight triangle, left corner. Final string of the match, unless we have overtime. Quarter, semis, and finals all tomorrow. Three matches, three strings. Live on Canelton Bowling Network on YouTube and Facebook. All right, kick it over. <laughs> oh, what a ride. Whoa. Right behind the four. Raising the head pin is Brian Feast. Nine right, four, seven left. And they can substitute before the first five boxes. Generally, they do it by four, because you're front of mark in the fifth box. You cannot come out. Shannon, 10, 26 through two. Brian Feasty, eight, 17 through two. Outlaw Rides has the lead in the match. But Maria Subs thinks it's Sean Biggest. Triple strike, 166 string. It's got him back in it. Right now, Outlaw Rides has the 22 pin lead from Canada. No marks on the board yet, this as of now, I should say. <laughs> Davey Summons in the third spot for Outlaw Rides on lane 14 here at Fairlands. Strike bid nine, 10 pin left up. 
Aaron Spiller, one, two, four, came in last three. Summerton joinks it, want to go a little more left. Can't believe it. Spiller missed right. And that's a Paul Grant special. Missed the second shot, make the third. Never a good time for that. 10 through one. And a nine, yep. That's, uh, not sure why I marked it that way. You could, you, you love, a, you love a mark, Reg, though. Wouldn't it be nice? I'll put, I'm gonna list the scores this way just so we see all the lineup chains. Locke and Melanson flip. Uh, Feast second, Sean Baker down to fourth. Uh, Spiller third, I believe, is a reposition as well, I should note. Okay. Spiller and Summerton. Second box, third string. Strike, but he's got it. 20 plus two through two here in the third. Clippling Eagle for Aaron Spiller. Spiller, good bid. 2 1 split, 2 4 10. Outlaw Rides have the only mark of the board a strike. That would be a nine for Spiller, 18 through two. Outlaw Rides have led pretty much all the way. They're up 24 right now in the match. Anyone's game, anyone's match. The right to go to the quarterfinals. Margin was 19 for Outlaw Rides. This is a two seed and a five seed matchup. Maria subs the two seed. 24 0 on Tuesday. A plus accounting. Fenway Academy, the two teams have a two round bye into the semifinals tomorrow afternoon, just after noon time. Local time, 11 o'clock Eastern. Anna Melanson led off last string in the fourth spot now. 2 4 5 triangle, spread eagle. Sean Baker, come with that monstrous 166 triple strike strength. Good bid Whoa. in the object, will carry to the four. Looks simple, triangle, it's done <laughs> even one every two times. All staff provided by Candle from Bowling Network for pro bowlers without wood. It's gotten quiet all of a sudden, Greg's been loud and raucous earlier. As it gets heated up here. Must not miss score. Nine for Adam, Melanson. And Sean Baker will take a nine also, 3-1. Well, numbers boy can also give you some statistics. So far in the match, it's still, uh, now it's seven mark advantage for uh, Outlaw Rides in effect, pinning it's five in favor of Maria Subs. Melanson in the pocket, off the wall, has a check mark. That's buried. That seven pin was jostled. A little off spot even. Wood is plenty there for Sean Baker. Nice shot. Wraps around the four again. Oh dear. Baker, spare. 19 the ball through two here in the third. Cut it into single digits temporarily. Outlaw Rise does have a mark also. One apiece. Melanson, nine. Adams at 18 through two. As the ball comes back and rolls I'll away. Wait. I'll wait for it. There we go. 23 pin lead. 23 pin lead for Outlaw Rides. If Outlaw, Outlaw, Outlaw Rides wins this, Greg, they'll play the highest seed in the other division. If Academy Lanes wins the ball, Academy Lanes, that'd be something too. Two tough matches in a row if they win. And Maria Subs, the number two seed, will play the lowest remaining seed on the other side. Fenway Academy and A-plus accounting sitting pretty. And that could be unbelievable lanes if they win. We'll see. Andy Babino, red hot all day, all week. Drops nine, 
Woods comes back to the five, rolls right past it. Another chance. It goes, slow motion strike. Throw the flag, delay a game. Strike to start the third. One in front for John Winchell. Just missed it. Coming back for that goal. Oh. That won't go. It went for. Oh, Dave. what? Went to Andy, but not for him. Nine or ten for Winchell. Let's turn it over to Dan Castle. Go ahead. Okay, Dan Castle here. We have two updates for two matches that have completed their second string. The Academy team has defeated BBM in both of the first two strings with a total of 11.79 to 11.44. It's a 35 pin match. Abel uh, went ahead of New England flooring or stayed ahead of them, 12.38 to 11.34 after two strings. And uh, we'll be coming up with the unbelievable versus Kingswood match shortly. Kingswood won the first string, 6.21 to 5.87. Thank you, Dan Castle. Some of, uh, have, have the Andy Babbitt on a strike, 3.610, spare chance. John Winchell, 1.389. He marks to one for Outlaw Rides, up right now 23, plus this bill. Archer hit one, eight in the strike, 18 through one. He's 31 of the match for Outlaw Rides, one mark apiece now. Winchell, nice shot. Took a wrong turn. Babs gets a 10, 28 through two. John Winchell trying to get a 10 to go to 20 through two. Move your mic up, please. And John has the 10 box, 20 through two. The score update. As we go back to the top, you to Greg Gouillard. 31 pins for the Outlaw Rides, one mark apiece. Current statistics, it's, uh, let's see, 43 less 35 is eight, but make that seven marks advantage for Outlaw Rides. Still pinning is still six in favor of Maria Stubbs. Pretty much status quo. Brian Fuller Jr., 26 through two. Calvin Locke, 20 through two. Starting their third, their third box, third string. Both missing the head pin, but Calvin has a better lead, the one and the three. Brian, one, three, six in front. Left side, four, seven. Smooth ball right over the 4-7, and the wood falls away. Calvin splits the upright spare. 30 a ball through three. Fuller at nine, 35 through three. Fuller on lane 14, Calvin Locke on lane 13. Here at Fairlanes in Moncton, New Brunswick, Canada. Fuller, 5-2 split. Locke takes down four. Visible irritation. Fuller hooks right this time, 1-4-7. Calvin goes left, can't steal the head pin. Effective with the pinning though. Ryan gets the short two for a nine. 44 through four. Calvin Locke perfect so far, 10. 44 through four also. I Means it's on a 37 pin lead for Outlaw Rides. One mark for each side. If there's a tie, we'll have a one string roll off so somebody wins. Quarterfinals, semis, and finals live on Cannibal Ball Network tomorrow morning, Saturday, November 11th, 9 local Atlantic time, 8 o'clock East Coast time. Hit that oh red gosh. bell. Get notified to go live on YouTube, Cannibal Ball Network. Like us on Facebook as well. Let's get that scoreboard moved, hey? Strike bid, yes! Brian Shannon, 36 plus 2 through 3. Feast off to the left. 
as the one and eight. We did confirm the margin was 19, yet for some reason I want to see the notebook again. But I saw plus 19. I saw it, I saw it, I confirmed it a million times. Nine box. Ryan, 26 through three, and Calvin Locks Outlaw rides up by 38. Two marks to one in their favor also. Strong comeback by Maria Subs in that second. Now it's back up the other way. Lots and lots and lots of time left. Right in the pocket, but strike, he's got it. Side swept the five. 36 plus two through four for Brian Feast for Maria Subs. Shannon going for a double, Wolf. three one split. Third split for Shannon, made the first one. Wants to at least run these sticks down for nine is more probable. What a try. Woo. <laughs> that took the air out of the room for a second. What was wrong with that shot? It sent the woods just behind the four. I don't think you were looking for an answer to that question, though. Mercy. Ten. Nine box. Nine fill, ten box. Take the smudge off the board. Feast will fill the strike. There you see it. 47 minus is the lead for Outlaw Rides. A bunch. Ryan Shannon, 55 through four. Davy Summerton on the left is on a strike. Spill over the right for Maria is 18 through two. One, three, 10. On the crossover, first ball on the strike is five. Nine in the strike. Oh, sorry, second ball coming here as Spill is, does not convert for the spare. Here's the second ball on the strike. Spare! There we go. 30 through two, 40 the ball through three. Three marks in a row. David Boy! Spill a 10, 28 through three. Here comes Outlaw Rides again. That's when the guttural chanting starts. Wouldn't be worlds without it. The International Candleton Championships from Fairlanes in Moncton, New Brunswick. Beautiful shot, spread eagle plus to nine. Summerton goes left, has a post. Five on the spare, 45 through three. Spare strike, spare. Grabs four of the six, good bid. Three and six stand. Tough for a right to left break to cut it to the two four. That would have been something. Summerton, six right, seven left. Jammed on the angle. Spill a nine, 37 through four. Nine to match for Davy Summerton, 54 through four on Candlepin Bowling Network. Our final swing of the match, unless it's overtime, the lead is ballooned to 62 <laughs> for Outlaw Rides. Just Min like that. Minus two hits, including one from Sean Baker, but that is a lot. But Sean, could you send a triple strike to help his team? They cut the 17 or so at one point last string. Yeah, why not? Why not? Can't believe doing it again. He's on lane 14. Half Worcester, two in the eight. That's on a spare. 21 through two, down 60 in the match. One mark to none in their favor. Two on that, yeah. Adam Melanson, 4-7, spare chance. In the fourth spot this string, first spot last string. Calvin Lock now in the leadoff spot. So Calvin was six too low, I just got a tip on that. Thank you very much. Makes the outlaw lead even bigger, I confess. For a spare, just missed it right. That was from that tr string transition. Tip. That's a good out for Baker at nine. Sean to 30 through three with the mark. Adam Melanson, nine, 27 through three without a mark. 
Outlaw Rides has control right now, but lots of time left for Maria Subs. Maria's down 66 in the match, one spare to none. Baker laser focus from lanes. Five middle, four seven left. Yeah, Ella's score got adjusted six plus on that last correction I mentioned. Should now be correct, but I will score check in a moment. All scores are unofficial on your screen until otherwise announced. Well, that's in 10 right corner, two, four, seven left. It's got a piece of wood in the middle to possibly work with. Who do I have to thank? Craig Wester, thanks. Craig won that Kalen Pitts for Cancer, uh, King of the Hill at Aguan Bowl. Mm, mm. With uh, up and coming rising bowler himself and just a moment, almost to spare. With Brandon Martins. Have I mentioned I love the Candlepin community? He got the wood to go. Spare. What a shot. Brilliant. 37 the ball through four. I like the British version of brilliant better. Brilliant. <laughs> Sean Baker, 10, 40 through four. The momentum on Outwell R Ride side trying to get to the quarterfinals tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Local time, 8 o'clock Eastern. I guess it's like going 11 if you're marking the 10th. I guess it's going at going five, five days worth in the team competition. Or five days to six if you're in singles. I digress. John Winchell, half was to right, 3-9. Andy Babineau, half was to left, 2-8. and eight. Mirrored shots. 11 qualifying rounds, now the opening round of the playoffs. Went to a good second ball. Almost pulled it off, 10 pin stands. We may see some lineup changes here for Maria Sub. John picks it up for a 10, 30 through three, three tens. Gavino, nice out, nine, 37 through three on Candlepin Bowling Network. 65 pin lead for Outlaw Rides, one spare, or one mark for each side. John Mitchell, three 190s. He did it recently at Extra Lanes last month. This single high. 245 triangle. Gavino goes left, one, three, six, seven. YouTube chat was all over that correction as well, thanks. Winchell picks it up. 40 to ball through four on the spare. Nice shot that was, off the wall, can't get the seven to go. Now it's two marks to one from Maria Subs. 10 for Andy Babineau, 47 through four. And back to the top of the order. Paul Grant, Dan Castle, Greg Gouillar on Candlepin Bowling Network, the 2023 Men's ICC Worlds Championships. This is the opening round playoffs. Playoffs. Fenway Academy got one by, the other by went to A-plus accounting. They're in the semifinals tomorrow afternoon, just after noontime, local time, 11 o'clock Eastern on Candlepin Bowling Network. Calvin Locke, 50 through four. Brian Fuller, 44 through four. Another triangle. Fuller, three, six right, four left. The triangle is the six middle, 10 right, nine left for Calvin Locke. Three-time world champion for a spare. Missed right. Fuller, nice try. Can't get to the four, heck of a bid. Calvin missed right for an eight, 58 half. Fuller, 10, 54 half. Tens a good, but Maria's subs need some marks. Down 63 in the match, in the final swing of the match. All scores are confirmed.
Block in the pocket. Diamond plus the seven. Some call it a hay bale. I do. Fuller in the pocket. He gets seven. Make it eight. Two eight half west of Wood to work with. Calvin missed the object pin. The two has the five to the right. Fuller, spare. Ooh, I was worried about that. I thought it hung up in the hand. 64 and a ball through six. Calvin Locke, nine, 67 through six. Outlaw Rides leads this three string match in the final string by 62, down three marks to one. Ryan Feast, he's on a strike for Maria's on the left. 10 marks for Fuller Jr. He's got tops, although I suppose Baker t effectively has 10. Fuller right. is tops on the team. Ryan Shannon, 55 through four, drills eight, seven, 10, goal pulls. First ball, a strike, avoids the lemon drop, gets two. Lemon drop is the four pin left, second pin on the left, second pin right is a six pin, a dollar donation to Caleb for Cancer or five dollars on his fair strike. To support Caleb for Bowles and a relative going through cancer treatments. Caleb Sh for Cancer is a 501c3 Bowles charity. Shannon is now split four times. Give it a ride, charging the 10. It goes, spare. He fist pumped prior. He and knew. Come on, beast won't go. It's twice. It didn't go the other way. For Good Maria's. six, though. 45 through four. 10, 55 half. Ryan Shannon, 65 halfway through the third. Fifty-three pin lead for Outlaw Rides. Six on the fill for Ryan Shannon. Seventy-one half. Lead is fifty-nine now. Feast two in that first ball. For a spare, he's got it. Pumps his fist. 81 of the ball through six. Feast staying in the lineup. Trying to get a bunch here. And his rear six, 61 through six. All our rides. Increased the lead to 63 again. Two hits for each side. Third bowl is. Paul, we have a final to announce as Spiller and Summerson come up. It's the final of the unbelievable. Sorry, finished as a second of three strings. That oh, makes much more sense. Kingswood currently leading by 82 in that. 12.09 to 11.27. So averaging north of 120. All right, thanks, Craig. Thanks, Dan Castle. Davy Summerton, 54 through four. Forced with right, the one, three, six, ten. Craig Holbrook. In the lineup now. In the third spot for Spiller. This inside, one of the six. Uh, j uh, j excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Holbrook. Yeah, that's Holbrook. I see him. Five, nine, ten, left to right. There we go. Off the bench. Started earlier. Nice nine for Summerton. Davies, 63 half. Craig a nine. Off the bench to help out. 46 half. Outlaw rise is pretty much led it all the way. Maria Subs need to get, get moving here. Always up there in the tournaments every year. The world's every year. Have one in the past as Greg clears the pins down there. Don't forget Candlepin gift cards this holiday season all year round. Makes a great stocking stuffer. It's a great way to get friends involved. It also supports your local bowling center. Please help support this great game of Candlepin bowling, bowling with Candlepin gift cards. The gift that keeps on giving all year round. Candlepin gift cards. Chat helped out with this viewer question, but I'll answer it as well. What's the format? Two plays five 
uh, in each other's division. I'll explain more in a sec. Right in the pocket, parallel pins. Single elimination is the short story. Holtrick in the pocket, seven, two, five, ten. So basically the, the two and the three seeds move from right to left or left to right. Two plays five, three plays four. In opposite divisions, exactly. And the yes. one seed have buys. Congratulations, Fenway Academy and A plus accounting for that distinction. Good in try each, the wood. In each division. Holbrook for spare. He's got it. 56 half plus one. Three marks to two for Maria Subs. Craig had to make his own luck, split every time he's hit the head pin. JB 10, 73 through six. Adam Melanson's on a spare for all our rides. 37 the ball. Sean Baker, 40 through four on lane 13 here at Fairlands. Great place to bowl and book your birthday party for a corporate event. Right in the nose, spread eagle plus the eight. Really? Man. Baker in the pocket. Look at this one. 4 1 split. 2 4 7 8 10. Just missed inside the three. Got the six. Less than some more. That's the adage. Six standing. Baker trying to kick it over. Good try. 4 7 10. And a brutal quarter hit. Yikes. A five. Adam Melanson, 45 half. Ooh, Baker, nice 10, 50 half. Yeah, that gains five. Adam staying in. This team's up 61, down three marks to one. All the Friday Night Pro League Game of the Week returns next Friday night, 7.30 p.m. Dave Barber, Jeff Soretz, Extra Lanes, the number one seed, takes on Top five team in Rich Lamoni's Central Park Lanes 2. Live coverage on Facebook and YouTube on Kendallton Bowling Network every Friday night during the regular season plus the playoffs. Melanson. One, three, six, fair opportunity. Baker, beautiful ball, eight, another fair strike, four and seven, spare chance. Both these bowlers have only missed one head pin by my count. Spare. After a tough start, 55 of the ball through six for Adam Alonson. Coming in on the second string. Baker is spared a match. 16 a ball through six. Three marks to two for Rhea Subs. Four marks to two, sorry, I'm late. Direction four to two. A little of a. Well, I said my mouth's in the future, my brain's in the past. I'm on a, like a three, seven second delay. We're on our own time zone, Atlantic time zone. <laughs> We're an hour ahead up here in Canada versus East Coast time. So set your alarm clocks early tomorrow morning. If you're American, that is. If you live here, do whatever. But do please join us 9 a.m. Atlantic tomorrow, 8 a.m. Eastern. 9 a.m. Atlantic, GMT minus four. John Witchell's on a spare. The only two, a half blister. Momentum killer, 42 through four. I'm looking forward to the extra hour of sleep on the way back, though. Yes, please. Jab trying to kick it over. Good try. Nothing like the great game of Candleton Bowling. Get your friends involved. Get him out to bowl. Encourage him to join a league. Make a lot of friends. Great relationships and marriages in Kenneth from bowling all set. Just never know who you're gonna meet. Gavino 10, 57 half. Winchell, nice out. That'll be a nine, 51 half. 
the winner goes to the quarterfinals tomorrow morning, 9 o'clock local time, Atlantic time, 8 o'clock Eastern. We'll have one of the matches live on Canada Football Network. Ten extra marks for Outlaw Rides. We'll cover one of the two semifinals. That'll be on lane 15 and 16, and back on 13 and 14 for the finals, as is the quarterfinals tomorrow morning. Bob Spread Eagle plus the nine. What do you have his first two, uh, Greg? Who did? Uh, Babino. And he had a strike eight and a ten. No, no, the first two strings, rather. Oh, uh, that's just 140 and uh, 140. Is that good? Steady Eddie, huh? Try to curve it in. Only two, four, one split. One more mark for 400. Winchell, tough leave. Good try, 78. No wood, no luck. Nice sell. I'll take a nine out of that. Keep himself one mark from 400. 66 through six. We'll go back to the top of the order after this ball from John Winchell from Brentwood, New Hampshire. Both the extra lane. She just what club? X New Hampshire. Great owner and Rob Picara Sr. As he gets a nine, 60 through six at the minimum. Update from Greg Guya. 11, uh, 11 marks to seven in this string, producing a 41 extra pin advantage atop the 19 Outlaw Rides already had going into this, very probable favorites to advance. It's not over yet, and Maria Subs does have a racetrack left to go nuts, but they need something big now. Along with Dan Castle, Greg Guyer, I'm Paul Grant on Candle from Bowling Network. Over 850 videos and climbing. It's always free, never a charge. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Get your friends to do so also. Candlepin Bowling Network on YouTube. Like and follow us on Facebook as well. If the outlaw fills fizzle, this lead could easily be half of what it actually seems to be, which is currently 60. The biggest lead, I believe, are up there. 63 I saw at one point. Now it's 60. Ryan Ford Jr., one of three marks on the bonus. Strike! Yep, that's one part of the comeback equation. 74 through 6, 84 plus 2 through 7. Calvin Lockett lead off squat, 67 through 6, has a 2 2 split. Featuring the 2 4 left, 6 10 right. Evens up. Right in the hole. He almost drifted to the right with the ball. To a 206 here Monday afternoon. That was something. His highest ever in Same his career. Thing, a six. He's not happy with that. 73 through seven. Don't worry, Paul. We updated that sheet. Can Maria's make a big charge and get to the quarterfinals? Can Outlaw rise. Outlaw rides. Hold them off. Rocket shot five. First ball on the strike. But see, that's gaining nine in another ball already. That's one way to make a big dent in a 60-pin lead. You need more, but that's a great start. Cavanaugh trying to rebound. Just four. Three-time world championship, Calvin Locke. Ryan Fuller Jr. Ah. Up a two, four, seven. Thirty-nine. Oh, got it, spin, nice shot. Not an easy one. 83 and a ball through eight. Big for Outlaw Rides. They knew they weren't sitting pretty yet. That's a meaningful mark. Pull on this right for a seven. 98 through eight. And now it's three marks to two for Outlaw Rides. 42 pin lead in the match. Brian could use a head pin. Brian Feast, I mean to say. Brian Shannon's on a spare on the left. Brian, Brian Feast, Feast and Ryan Shannon. Well, I'm sorry, I got it backwards. No, 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 no. I just said it wrong. No, I don't think you did. I was just clarifying. Okay, I used to use the monitor. I usually look at the, the bowlers, so I'm trying to do both. As we're far back in the scoreboard. Hard, you cannot read it from back here, realistically. Shannon's fill is five. 91, is it, Greg? Uh, sorry. 80, 86 to 86 six. now with that five. All right, six. Going for another one. A little full, two, four, seven. Face chopped off that triangle, didn't he? Harsh. 
East nine at the minimum, 70 through seven. 10 blocks for Ryan Shannon, 96 through seven. In the third and final string of the match, the lead's back up to 48. Now the marks are even, two apiece. Ryan Shannon making a big difference in the two spot. It's not too late for Brian Feast, a rough start to the string, but every ball matters. You could still make a difference right here, right now. And of course, it's a dreaded half whisker. Shannon in the pocket, parallel pins plus the seven. Crossovers leave, whatever that is. Ooh. Dear me, now a check mark. Ryan almost pulled it off. The ball's coming back. It falls in the pit. Goodness gracious. Who's an ass for the crowd? Even getting four out of five. Well, you got style points in my book. Great crowd on hand watching. Four matches here. Feast to nine, 79 through eight. Ryan Shannon won't go for nine. 105 through eight. 48 pin lead still for Outlaw Rides. Trying to get to the quarterfinals tomorrow morning. Nine o'clock local, eight o'clock Eastern. Getting more and closer and closer. 16 boxes is still enough time to erase that. All of him at Craig Holbrook, the left hander on lane 14 on a bonus. 56 in the ball. Missed left, seven, one, three, nine, behind the three. 63 through six. Baby Summerton delivers seven, three, six, ten. Spare chance. Barber could use a spare. Can't get to the nine. Number 10, spare. 83 to ball through seven. Three marks to one in their favor also. Holbrook 10, 73 through seven. They look, Greg, they look so unstoppable. They won their 24-0 and dropped the number two seed. Didn't get the two round by. And they got an uphill battle down 41 here late, but still time left to perhaps win or get to overtime. Holbrook on the crossover, a triangle featuring the 478. Summerton on lane 13 here at Fairlanes in Moncton, New Brunswick, Canada. Not a bad leave. Takes eight, wiggling two in the knot. 91 through seven, lead is 49 for all our rides. Two marks to one still in their favor. Holbrook gets right. Gets the 10, 83 through 8. Davy, 10, 101 through 8. 49 pin lead for Outlaw Rides. Two marks to one in their favor. Can Maria Subs make the comeback? It's going to be tough. Double strike or two at help. So Baker has gone. He's currently past 44. He's, no, sorry, he's a, no, excuse me, he's a 394 if he pins out. Both on spares. Baker, two, four left, six to the right, seven on the fill, 67 through six here in the third. Now he can pin out a 400, but it's a tight rope act. Lonson spear fill is a spread eagle, four, 59 through six. Maria's chops off three at the deficit. Baker trying to kick it over. What a bid. It's rough. Baker's only missed one head pin this string. Lanson got the three in the right, got the three in the left. Two, four, seven. Likewise, Adam. I think I said that before, but it's still true. Adam and nine, 68 through seven. Uh, second Baker nine. Eight, I'm sorry, Baker nine rather, I said it wrong. 76 through seven, Monson eight, make that, 67 through seven. I'll get it right. We're there.
45 pin lead for Outlaw Rides. One mark to none in their favor also. Trying to triple strike in that second string to cut the 17 or so. Strike bid here, he's got it. There's one. 86 plus two through eight here in the third and final string. Melanson, one, four, nine. Excuse me. There we go. Messing with the tech. Oh, he got it. What a shot for a spare. How about that? 77 of the ball through eight for Adam Melanson. Routlaw rides. Two marks to one of their fave. They're 45 in the match. The five seed leads the two seed. Winchell missed left. Takes out one as the three six ten spare opportunity. And Andy Babbitt wills down the right corner two four spare opportunity for him. Outlaw rides trying to get to the quarterfinals tomorrow morning. Winchell spare no. Dad gets his seventy six the ball through seven. Outlaw rides the comfortable lead late in the third and final string of the match. Three marks to one. John and nine, 69 through seven. Fred, what's the, the difference in the marks and the fills here? Uh, difference is uh, three to one. Overall in this uh, match, it is 12 in favor of Outlaw rides. So 12 extra marks for Outlaw rides. Only seven pins uh, for Maria subs. So a lot of work still to do. After this box, we'll get an update from Dan Castle. Winchell goes left, one, three, six. Babs in the bonus, just four. 80 through seven. It leads back up to 50. For Outlaw Rides, still two hits to one in their favor. Sorry, Dan, I'll actually jump down for a score update of my own and then I'll pass the mic over to you if that's okay. Hmm? Johnson gives a mark. He's got it. Spare. 79 the ball through eight. Babs leads up to two in the five. The correction, the three in the five. Ten box. Ninety through eight. No mark, right? Okay. So it's fifty. Two boxes to go for each bullet. Ten boxes in the match. It's gonna be a challenge for Maria Subs to get to the quarterfinals tomorrow morning on Candle Morning Network. Not sure we're going to cover actually tomorrow morning yet. We won't know till the end of the night. We'll put a post on Canop and Chat. We find out tonight. Calvin Locks on a spare at eight. 91 through eight. Sean Baker, or rather, uh, Brian Fuller Jr. <coughs> Sean Baker, the fourth spot. Brian Fuller leading off in the first spot. 98 through eight. 2 1 split. Boulders are holding still. It's Calvin Locke. I think he's got wood. I was worried my camera froze. For a spare in the channel. Adjust your mic. Fuller, nice bid. Can't get to the four. Calvin Locke, same thing. Eight, 99 through nine. Fuller, 10, 108 through 9. 56 pin lead for Outlaw Rides. Right now it's looking good to get to the quarterfinals. You know, it once looked like, seemed like a walk in the park for Maria Subs has gone south. Half Wester gets sarcastic clap for Calvin Locke. All scores confirmed. Fuller Jr., 4-7, got to convert here. They have two marks to one in their favor. Down 56. 
Locke, good second ball. He's up to 4-7. Ooh, that got a healthy push. It was already halfway into the pit, unluckily. When he got that 2-0-6 the other day, he had a 1-0-1 in the first and a 2-0-6 second. Go figure. Full of spare. Yeah, 101 first string, what you said. Clock at 10, 109, third string. His totals, Greg? That's that's that. The totals are confirmed. Don't worry, Calvin Locke was top of the shop in singles. What did he get for three strings, do you know? Calvin Locke, uh, he substituted. Uh, I'll look later. Well, then he's a could use a strike, it's nine on the spare. I think he. I think Calvin Locke is 344. Spare fill is nine for Fuller, 127. He was there the whole time. He gets a 370, 370. The lead is 47, eight boxes to go. Maria subs two marks to one. Getting pretty close to Miracle Zone, Greg. Not there yet, but approaching. We don't need double strikes or pinning disasters just yet. We can still go crazy with marks uh, if we meant Maria subs. I don't root for one side or the other. I just root against the pins. The seating does not matter. Just get in the playoffs and let's see what happens. It's worked up for Outlaw Ride so far. And there is get a strike. Over. Ryan Shannon. 115 plus two in the ninth. Feast goes right. Seven, one, eight, nine. The applause growing louder and louder. Outlaw Rod's looking good right now to the quarterfinals. Spare for Feast. 89 the ball through nine. We'll put a post to all the scores on Canelton chat tonight. And back at 8 o'clock Eastern time, 9 o'clock here, local time, Atlantic time, on Canelton and Bowling Network, teams to be determined. We'll put that post that we know tonight on Canelton chat. Ryan Shannon's first strike ball is 7, 1, 3, 6. Opposite side, 1, 2, 4 for Brian Feast on the spare, 96 through 9. Mm -hmm. We might need a Sean Baker triple strike again, like he did in the second. Inside, number one. Nine the strike, 124 through nine. A spare for Feast. It's never too late to make a difference. Back to back marks, finish up strong, 106 in the ball. Shannon, 10, nothing wrong with the 134 final string in yep. the open round playoffs. Brian Shannon was there the whole time, so I show him his 364. Right now it's 49 for Outlaw Rides, three marks to one for Rhea Subs. And Brian only got two head pins out of that, Brian Feast did, but that's two, um, uh, three marks and great pinning overall. It's not how you start, it's how you finish. That's right, I always say that, seven in the fill, 113, nice finish for Brian Feast off the bench. And it cuts lead to 42 for Outlaw Rides, it's two spares to one for Maria Subs. They gotta get a double strike or two maybe. Six blocks to go on Canelton Bowling Network. Please share with your friends. Please invite your friends to bowl Canelton Bowling. There's nothing like it out there. And nothing like the atmosphere in here. It'll be even crazier tomorrow. Davey Summerton, final two boxes, sweeps down nine, maybe 10, it's nine. 10 pin for a spare, two pieces of wood. Holbrook on the head pin, seven, seven, eight, 10. Yeah, you hate to see the middle row fall sideways like that, like crisscross chopsticks. Well, it was crisscrossing, maybe it'll go. Whoops. Summerton can't get, it's like 10 to go. Brutal, tough Booster push. Shot. Is anything angling at the 10 for Holbrook? He's oh. got a spare. 93 and a ball through nine. Sorry, I asked. He's glad you did. This would be one heck of a comeback if they can pull it off. And 10 for Summerton on the Paul Grant special. Missed the second, make the third. 111 through nine. Yeah, we're not, we're not in the miracle zone yet. 42 pin lead for Outlaw Rides. Three marks to one from Rhea Subs. He cut it in the 20s, potentially with those fills. Exactly. 
two double strikes. They're in single digits or less. Going to take the lead. Wouldn't that be something? Summer Timbers strike. He's got it. But conversely, if that happens, that makes the hill higher to climb yet again. Clutch as usual, 121 plus two in the 10. Holbrook, look at this. You're going to be kidding me. Mercy. A check mark and a triangle. Take a video of that, folks. Three in the fill. Brutal. It's been such a mystery. It seems like Fair Lanes hates Holbrook for some reason. Not the staff. They would 96 never. through nine. But the pins are just having their way with him. And what are you saying? It's not Miracle Zone yet? I'll check again after this. This is toughy. Craig at nine, 105, final string. Yep, 105 final, take the smudge away. That's it. 40 pin lead for Outlaw Rides, unsurmountable, it seems like right now. Four blocks oh, to go, plus a ball, double strike ball. Then it's two marks to one after that. Maria's. Summerton. Beautiful ball, a little full. Two, four left, six to the right, trying to get to 131. And well over 400. Another masterpiece by Davey Summerton. No big surprise. He'll grab two for a nine. 130, final string. What's that, 140, 140, 130? Uh, Summerton was there the whole time. I'm so, hold on a second. No, no, that was Andy Babineau's. Oh, Bab uh, Babineau, okay, I got it mixed up. All right. All right, so final four boxes. Outlaw rides up 49, down two marks to one. Eight in that, fill, that ball, rather. Adam Lanson's on a spare. That's 85 through eight. Baker on a spare is five. He's on a strike, actually. There goes the double chance. That's it's pretty much an outlaw rides all the way. A few runs by Maria Sutter. Spare, and that should do it. It should. 95 and a ball. Baker, what a try. Nine to strike, 95 through eight. Would you believe me if I said it's still not Miracle Zone? This would be amazing. Holbrook 105, yes, Dan? Thank you, I do have it correct. Adam Malant and all smiles. They can feel it now. Quarterfinals looking good tomorrow morning. Sean Baker 10, 105 through nine. The 166 triple strike second to get his team back in contention. They came back again here in the third for a while, but Outlaw Rides kicked it back in high gear. Melanson oh on yeah. the bonus, Miss Wright, six. We're super in Miracle Zone. I don't know what I was reading earlier. 101 through nine. Twilight Zone, more like Maria Subs right now. One, two, ten. Just the four for a spare. And Baker gets the spare. 115 the ball in the tenth. Keeps on to the lottery ticket. Melanson 10, Adam 111, final string. So by miracle zone, I mean we need double strikes or a pinning disaster to happen from Outlaw Rides. Y you know which way around. The best Sean can do now is cut up to 44 with two blocks to go, and it's going to be almost impossible now. It'll take down nine. Nice finish, 124 for Sean Baker, future Hall of Famer. Sean Baker's total should be, let's see, 66 plus 38 is uh, 04. I have him at 428. I think I'm, and I think I'm right. Babino for strike nine and wiggle. Speaking of 400s, Babino's gonna need to mark for that. Don't show the spin, he's a strike, and that'll do it. 
Nine Phil 88 through eight. Outlaw Rides going into the quarterfinals tomorrow morning. Spare for Babino. The dagger. 100 the ball through nine. The fifth seed hang up, hang, hung on to get in the playoffs by one point as Winter gets a spare in the ninth to match Babino's. Tactically not mathematically over, but the instant anything decent happens on this fill, it's over. All the rides just had him on the ropes all evening long. Babino half whisk, not, not a bad time for that, too. Technically the mathematical tire. Okay, now it's over. Congratulations. John Winchell, seven. After 98 through eight, 105 through nine. Bab grabs two. Winchell, five in the 10. Five goes down. Babs a rare five, he'll take it this time. 107, final string. Five is fine. Uh, yeah. But he doesn't get us 400. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, yeah, no, that's 396. That's not good. Oh, no worries. Solid anchor work. John 10, 115 final string. Thank you for watching this great game of Canada from Bowling. Greg Guillo, we'll wrap up in just a moment. Don't forget, 8 o'clock East Coast time, 9 o'clock local time, Atlantic time here at, Funk, at uh, Moncton, New Brunswick, Canada at Fairlanes. Back to Greg Guillo to wrap it up. Thanks so much. Let's take a wide shot here. There is your final on screen, however, as soon as I can get my act together. Whoops. Just a moment, folks. I'm still on the air and making it happen. But. 591 to 584, so Outlaw Rides takes this string and has a 26-pin win. Outlaw Rides victorious. New England flooring has lost to Abel Construction. So Abel's in the quarterfinals tomorrow morning. Uh, didn't get an update in Academy Lanes. Dan, any update in Academy Lanes at all? All right, we'll put it on Candlepin chat later on. Kings with Bulletproof uh, also in action with Unbelievable. How about the other match? Unbelievable. Yeah. Any, any word in the other one over there? Unbelievable. All right, we'll put a King, post on Kenneth and chat. King, so it's a, uh, 82 pins ahead after two strings I see on the monitor All right, there. So looking good also right now. And anything can change in that third string, obviously. Let's call it a night, Greg. Sounds good. We'll call it there. Uh, remember, Baker was over 400. The scores are deceiving because it was a uh, uh, substitution switch there. On behalf of Paul Grant, on behalf of Dan Castle, on behalf of our executive producer, Bob Lee, my name is Greg Gouillard. Thank you for watching this presentation of Candlepin Bowling Network and the International Candlepin Championship. And we will see you next time tomorrow, 9 a.m. Atlantic and 8 a.m. Eastern. We'll see you then. Until then, so long.